It's a brand new day here at Shop NBC and a brand new today's top value, V914 double zero. Check it out, baby. You know it, you love it. It's the apocalypse, but back in a new fashion. We like to call this the trifecta. Why? Because you've got three <laughs> unique looks, much like Larry always sporting a new look. Look at this guy. How are you, buddy? Hey, hey Jim. Listen this is Larry Sterling. Megan. He's president of North American Operations for Sterling Original, and I am so very happy to have you here. Well, Jim, it's great to have you back in the saddle again. Thank you. And, you know, it's spring, so it's time for, uh, you know. See, you, you get rid of some hair, I add some hair. It doesn't make yeah, any sense. It's all about. Uh, you know, new look, new spring, let's get going. And here, the apocalypse trifecta, Jim. We, this has been in the works for a long time, and I'm Why so are we calling this the trifecta? Let's get that out of the way right away. Sure. Well, it's the trifecta because tri means three, right? Absolutely. Okay, you get three bezels with this watch, and it, so you can have three different looks. It's interchangeable. So here's the deal. What you're going to purchase, uh, wherever the camera would like to focus, <laughs> I will go there. Let's pick a watch, and I'm going to show you what we're doing here. You're going to get three bezels in total, one fixed on the watch, obviously, when you open the box, and two additional. So let's say you've got this one here. You have the red aluminum bezel, and this is set up with the Duracoat system. You also have a brushed stainless steel bezel with the black sterling screws. And then you're going to have the stainless steel bezel with the genuine carbon fiber inlay. So all three looks, very easy to change out. All this is a quarter turn, by the way. You don't have to screw it down. You don't need any tools. It's just simple, boom, quarter turn, and you pop it off. As a matter of fact, as I understand it, we have a lovely video that will perfectly demonstrate what it is that I'm talking about. Before we get there, though, let's go over the color choices that you're going to get. If uh, I can get a drum roll, please. <laughs> we'll, we'll find some watches here to focus on. We have silver tone, we have black, or we have green. Very simple, very basic, go by dial color. Uh, actually, no, it's red. No, uh, how could I be more wrong? It's red, green, or blue, apparently. Right. And you're going by the bezel color, which uh, hopefully we have that bezel on the watch when we're showing it to you, telling you the colors. Well, that's correct, Jim. It's actually, the, the blue, bezels that change. That's right, but the See, one that comes with it, the blue color. has the silver tone uh, dial. Really? <laughs> okay, here's how you switch it out to further confuse you. All you do is a simple quarter turn, that pops off, you drop the new one in, quarter turn, lock it down. It couldn't be any easier. Look how exciting and fun that's going to be. You're going to be sitting there swapping it out uh, for an hour straight when you first open it. Now, aside from the quality of the watch, we're going to get into the dimensions and everything else. Tell us about the warranty first, and we're going to get into the rest. Absolutely, Jim. Our, our international two-year warranty, <laughs> if anything goes wrong, you know, our service center is in New York. You'll send it to us, and we'll stand behind it like we always do, Jim. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to do something a little bit different because we're trying to benefit our newer viewers. Sure. And the industry standard in measuring a watch is millimeters. Correct. Only. But for the benefit of newer viewers who aren't familiar with millimeters, you give the millimeters, I'll give the inches. Okay, well, this, this particular time, this is a brand new case for our apocalypse, never seen before, is 45 millimeters from 10 to 4. But if you want to, and here you can see with the inches here, you can see it's about a good uh, inch and a half, a little more than an inch and a half, Jim, but that's the bezel. If you go the case dimensions from top to bottom, it's roughly, uh, I think, 57, because it has so extended eight to two, lugs. So traditional diameter is 40, 45 45-ish. Yeah, so it's a 45 millimeter case for everybody that, that uh, knows anything about watches, you're good. Remember, blue, red, or green going by the Duracoat color of the bezel. Again, very simple to swap that out. It's a simple quarter turn. You can even do it while you're wearing the watch, by the way. You don't have to take it off and do anything fancy. You can do the quarter turn, pop it off, put the new bezel on. If you feel like dressing things up, you go with the standard stainless steel bezel. You want to go sporty like you're heading out to the racetrack, you put on your carbon fiber. If you want to go wild and crazy like you're going to the beach, you put on your brightly colored bezel. It's just that simple. But it doesn't end there. You have the ability, if you make a separate purchase, if you make a separate purchase, we have a set of straps available under a different item number 
that you can completely change the look. Change out your bezel, yeah. change out your straps. Now you will have to use the strap changing tool. Please bear in mind, they are not quick release uh, pins on the straps, but in a second we'll show you that number. We're actually gonna be breaking up this presentation in, in several sections, because when being told right now, we have so many people on the phone lines that we're actually hurting ourselves by sitting on this any longer. We can't process enough orders. You need to go to shopnbc.com or automated ordering. We will come back and revisit the, okay. the, the, the today's top value in a few minutes. We're gonna take a bit of a break. Before we go though, I do wanna show if we can the item number for those straps, because it's very important. If you wanna keep doing the interchangeability, you can change out your bezels, change out your strap. Uh, the movement inside here, sir. Uh, ISA 8172. So you have day, day, a day and date mm -hmm. smoothly sweeping chronograph. There it is right there, by the way, with arrows pointing to everything. Everything. V91400. Yours to be had for only $118.27. Three whopping value pays of $39.42. And again, I apologize. We would normally be on this a lot longer. We have too many phone calls coming in. We're going to give it a little bit of a break. There, by the way, is the three strap set. Color choice blue. Color choice green, which the green is really kind of cool. And then color choice red. For 27 bucks, you get all three rubber straps with the stitching and with the leather inlays. If you want to get them, do them now. Even three value pays on there. You can't beat that. Uh, tell you, if you're going to buy the watch, the you have stick. to get the straps, guys. Don't miss the straps. I like that little tool. That's it really comes neat. With a, it comes with a strap changing tool. It comes in a nice little box. I don't know if we have it to show, but we did get to that later. Quick little preview. A watch named after Larry himself, V9111. <laughs> Three, the Madman. Now this is the original, the automatic. This is the same one you see me wearing. I own the one on the very top. $156 for that big behemoth of a watch. And <laughs> V91459, the Gen X with the retrograde day of the week. Choose between orange indices or blue indices and an otherwise all black presentation. For one ninety eight ninety one. Which size is this, Larry? Because you do like a small, medium, this large. This is a forty nine. Okay, so it's the big one, or yeah. the big one, as you like to yeah, say. Yeah, this is the big one, and these are the two new executions for two thousand ten, Jim. All right, now what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna take things back to a little bit of a classic look. V nine one four zero nine, the legacy classic for one hundred and twenty eight dollars and seventy five cents. Three value pays of forty two and ninety two cents. I'm going to put on the blue, and two things I would like to stress to you. Number one, it's a lot bigger than you think it is. Yeah. And number two, this is not a quartz. This is a mechanical automatic, fully decorated movement. Give them the millimeters, I'll give them the inches. This is a 48 and a half, Jim. Which is? Almost 49, guys. A little over 48 millimeters. We'll call which, it about two inches. And I'll tell you, you know, this is breaking new ground for us. This is a revolutionary piece. The first time we've ever taken a straight dress piece like our Legacy, which was a 46, which was already pushing mm -hmm. the limits, yeah. up to 40, over 48 millimeters, And it looks Jim. great. It's fantastic. And again, we're taking it to new heights. Now, the original Legacy was a quartz, was the Citizen with the 24-hour uh, second time zone. Here, we've gone to the mechanical automatic with the subset dial, the small seconds at 9 o'clock, guys. But we took a dress piece from our classic collection to up to 48 millimeters, guys. First time we've ever done that. It's right here with the Legacy Classic. Take a look at this from the rear. You've got the blue ionic plating on the rotor to match the bezel and the crown. Now look at the new high level of decoration that it Sterling has stepped up to. Not only do you have the Cote de Genève running through there that we're, we're pretty used to seeing, but now there's also perlage engraving, those, those beautiful uh, little swirlies, the little circles in there. If you buy the brown, you get a brown rotor, black with a black rotor, silver tone, silver tone rotor, blue with a blue rotor. Just gorgeous. As a matter of fact, I would like to show, well, you just took one, okay. Uh, we're gonna show you all the colors very quickly. I just wanna hold this for one quick second. We're gonna show you all the colors, then Larry can play with one of these and show you how it looks with a suit. <laughs> I gotta tell you folks, You've got a beautiful selection on a classic look, and that's the beauty of it. It is a timeless classic that will never go out of style, yet it's made to today's large men's standard. I can't tell you which one looks the best. I think they all look great. That's going to be entirely up to you. Do what you, do what you got to do 
to own this watch. I want to show you, if we can, on Larry's wrist, how that looks, even with a suit. Now, it's a big watch, but it's still slim enough to work. It's going to have a big presence on the wrist. So if you're at that board meeting, you're, you know, you're in the boardroom, you want to make that impression, this watch is going to do it because people are not going to miss it. This would be my choice right here, Jim, the black, because, you know, I like to do a lot of black and white where you have a, you know, dark suit, white shirt, black and white. That's kind of my look right there. But, you know, notice also the decoration on the dial over there on the, uh, you know, the, let's call it the western side there on the left side of the dial. Yeah! You see that, that kind of western? Yeah, cowboy western. There you go. But uh, <laughs> there it is, man. I'll tell you my what. My producer Tom likes to this. ride side saddle, I understand. So. All right, so yeah, I'm going to get this out of the way. So those are your color choices. I want to show you the brown. The brown, I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. It kind of turned into to being my personal favorite. I'm going I'm to show you why. This is a new plating color that Sterling started doing, and I want to say somewhere around a year ago, if I'm not mistaken, or very, very close to that. Your case is silver tone, beautiful mirror polish. You look at the, the, the beauty of that, and then you see the bezel. It's not rose tone. It's actually a bronze. It's a brown tone. And then look at the radiance of that uniquely finished brown dial. Now, it's not that deep chocolate brown that we see so much lately. It's, again, more of a bronze tone. The same with the raised individually applied numerals. Those are individually hand applied. You've got to realize how much money that costs to do. Your calendar right over here between the four and the five, offset sub-seconds indicator at the nine o'clock position. And then again, the matching finish on the rotor. Larry, the watches are elegant, the watches are beautiful, and to be able to get into a true mechanical automatic, not requiring a battery, not requiring any service intervals at, uh, you know, three, four, five years uh, to, to put a new battery in there, to do it for $128, I am flat out flabbergasted. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you, Jim, you know, we kind of like almost taking these prices for granted uh, for the last six months or, or a year. Uh, you know, like 128, you know, just a couple of years ago, Jim, this would have been a 249 piece at least here on Shop NBC. So uh, it, it's a tremendous value. But again, then again, one after another after another, uh, we're kind of getting used to it here. But guys, this is no joke. I mean, if you go into a to a mall, to a jewelry store and try and, you know, buy a, a, a timepiece like this, a mechanical automatic timepiece, uh, like this, uh, you're not going to find it at this price, Jim. No, no. You're certainly not going to find it with three value pays of $42.92. By the way, if you've never used the value pay option, let me explain that to you. It's so very simple to use. You don't have to sign up for an additional line of credit for a new credit card. Nothing weird, nothing freaky like that. We don't want to mess with you. You know, this is not the time to start opening up new lines of credit. Any major credit card that you already own, we'll take that, we'll take that, we'll call it a down payment, uh, $42.92 plus shipping and handling. And bada bing, bada boom, we send it out the door. You get to wear it as you're paying it off. You can't ask for any better than that. Oh, we only have two of these, so we don't have all three. Oh my goodness, the madman is selling quickly, folks. Get on the phone. By the way, V91467. Oh my goodness, brand spanking new today, the Ascot Pavilion. That is a hot looking classic watch. Yeah, very large piece as well, Jim. I think it's 45, I think. <laughs> At 80, $83. It's a very slim line, that, too. That's it's not, a, I can't be right. It's 83? Super, th super or 183. Slim. No, it's $83. It's super slim quartz from our Ascot Park wow. series in the classic collection. And V91411. Woo! The Metropole Elite. We hardly ever get a chance to air this watch, and when we do, it's not nearly long enough. Tonight, we're going to fight for your right. One of my Party. favorites, Jim. You know I love this piece, and uh, this is the two rose gold executions here. All righty, then. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play with a big, bad watch that every time it comes in, it sells out. If you're not on the phone right now, I'm telling you, you're not going to get the black. The silver tone, by the way, not even in existence. We didn't even have any, and I was unaware of that. 
I'm going to put the black on because, well, it matches what I'm wearing uh, a little bit better. And this is my second favorite. I love this look. This is the same watch that I own. I own it in the silver tone, which is not available today. This is the automatic. Now, there have been two versions of chronographs plus the automatic. This is the original. This is also the biggest and the baddest. I have no idea how many inches it is. I'll, I'll try to figure it out in the next few minutes if I don't forget. V91113. This Larry, is, yeah. this is an absolute masterpiece yeah, it, in a sport watch. It really is. And, you know, we're doing a lot with our Madman uh, line of uh, timepieces, Jim. As you know, uh, we've got like three models already now. We're actually, four. We've got more in the works. But this is 53 millimeters from 12 to 6, 63 from lug to lug. But here we go. This is the one that started it all, the mechanical automatic. Yeah, the dial uh, is what did it for me. Yeah. You've got two-thirds of the dial, roughly, that's done in a really rich pearlage decoration. Yeah. And the lower third, roughly, is a flat matte finish. And it's done. What I love about this is it's not perfectly balanced. It's not like 50-50. It's not symmetrical. I love that. It's mad. Well, you know, Jim, uh, oh. yeah, and the rose gold. I love the rose gold as well. But you've got a, a, a nice rubber strap on this piece as well that has uh, steel inserts to it as well. So the design on the rubber strap really fits the case design. It's got a very aggressive curvature as it needs to have an aggressive curvature because it's uh, such a, a large size case. Let's uh, dive deep into that dial and let's show everybody. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 Larry, tell them what they're looking at, my friend. Well, here you have an exposed uh, date wheel. As you can see, the date's going, you know, all the way around. And, of course, the opening down there at 6 o'clock is showing you, you know, which day. Uh, today's, of course, March 21st, the first day of spring. So uh, our crew is right on it over here setting these watches for us here. So you hit the 21st down there. But uh, you see the nice smooth sweep of the second hand indicating the mechanical automatic. You see all the dial work here, even that, that border template for the date, that's applied to the dial. All the uh, hour markers, as you can see, are applied to the dial as well. <clears throat> you see the one-fifth minute markers uh, going around, those little dots, those are applied to the dial as well. So, you know, the Sterling original dial work is certainly here, Jim. Now, you guys have been experimenting with rubber straps a lot lately, <laughs> uh, many of which that have steel supports yeah. built in them. You're doing it for comfort, and I understand that. I love the juxtaposition that it gives because what you've got in a lot of the watches are kind of an elegant look, and then the yeah. rubber kind of sports it up. You're doing a little bit of both. Here's a watch that I look at and go, this is primarily like a <laughs> casual or a sporty wear watch, but if you wanted to, you could pull this off with a suit, absolutely. Here it is from the back displaying that it is truly a mechanical automatic. For those of you that are unaware, Again, not powered by a battery. That little rotor right back there, when you're wearing the watch, that spins around. That activates a set of winding gears that transfers energy through the winding train. That then winds the barrel. Inside of the barrel is the mainspring. I think of, uh, remember those airplanes you had when you were a kid, the rubber band airplanes, and you, you had to spin sure, the propeller around to build up the power, then release it? That's what the mainspring inside of the watch does. And that's what's the, the storing the power. There are nothing but a series of springs and gears, steel plates and red ruby jewels creating the symphony of time played out on your wrist, 60 seconds per minute, 60 minutes per hour, every day, day in, day out, as long as you're wearing it or manually winding it, it's going to stay running. If you lay the watch down, you haven't worn it for a few days, after approximately 36 hours, this particular caliber will stop running. All you do is you pick it up, give it a few shakes or wind the crown, Reset the time. You're good to go again. Let's go to the, uh, we have time to go to the phones? All right, let's do that. We're going to make some magic here with Jim in Missouri. <coughs> How are you tonight, Jim? Hey, I'm great, Jim. Good to see you back, buddy. Thank you very uh, much. I just wanted to ask uh, your friend there from Sterling. I, I can't remember his name, and I apologize for that. <laughs> Bob. But, uh, I got my first ever watch from Shop NBC a couple of months ago. <laughs> And uh, the one I bought was the uh, one of the blue bezel and the uh, the yellow cigar uh, hands. It was an automatic. The Alpine. The Alpine. Right, Alpine. That was it. And uh, I just was floored by it. I mean, it's amazing that the beauty of these watches. It's just like every time something new comes out, whether it's you guys or another brand, but it's usually Sterling or Invicta is what I'm looking for. And it's like it's just a palette. I mean, when did when did watchmakers start getting so creative with these watch designs? Has this been around for? 10, 20 years? Is this something new? And I have a question about automatics as well. Tell us, Bob. Well, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, Jim, I, you know, that's a good question, really. I, I'm not really sure when all this uh, 
uh, color started. But I'll tell you what, Shop NBC, as far as I'm concerned, has really tapped into something here. Uh, here in America. It's different than anywhere else in the world as far as watchmaking. When you look at the size of the cases uh, that the fans here at Shop NBC, the customers at Shop NBC are demanding, they want the larger size. So the designs are just getting more aggressive and aggressive. And, you know, we've certainly, we stepped out of the box oh, probably three years ago, and it's just going further and further with color and size and, and design. Detail. The and detail. The detail just keeps getting better. Yeah, and the so question I that, had that's on a automatic. really good question. Uh, when I bought that uh, Alpine, I'd asked uh, one of the customer service people, is that a, is, you know, because there's been self-winders forever. I mean, I have mm -hmm. one of my grandfather's old uh, Waltham self-winders, but it, is it, it's a lot more accurate now. I understand the movements are a lot more advanced these days. Is it, is it kind of taking a bigger chunk of the market these days as opposed to quartz? I'll, I'll take that one if you don't mind, because this is really kind of a, a generalized question. It depends on the manufacturer. It depends on the day of the week they're manufacturing them. Depends on the accuracy of the lot, the certain batch that's coming out. Even COSC certified movements can vary greatly after they've been certified, packaged and washed, shipped to the U.S., then shipped to the retailer, then to the customer. It can vary. But the great thing is any good movement can be regulated. If you've got one that's wildly inaccurate for some reason, a nominal fee, and in many cases some manufacturers will take it back and do it for free uh, under the warranty they can regulate it to get even more accurate so to answer your question simply yes they are more accurate today than they were maybe 40 50 years ago but it really depends on the the, the level that you're buying in and sometimes it's just a crapshoot so there you go guys i know you have to go but i just want to tell you i just bought the legacy a few minutes ago love it and i'm going to tell you it's become a cliche with you guys when i came across shop nbc a couple of months ago i thought my God, what am I watching here? And I just got hooked, and, and now I'm on it all the time. I can't afford everything I want, but I did get the legacy, and I'll tell you what the other, a lot of other folks say, you're breaking my bank, but that's all right. I just love your watches. I love Sterling, and uh, you, you all keep going. I've, I've got well, to get up in about five hours. I work in radio, so I've got to talk here in the morning, but I wanted to let you know how much I think of your program and your watches. Well, Jim, we love you back. We thank you very much for the support. Get thank some you. rest, and we'll talk to you again. All righty. Folks, we got to move on. Uh, clock has already run out. Black, there are about 30 remaining. They are going to sell out very, 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 very quickly. Do not hesitate on that black or you will regret it. You will miss out. Spring Favor is still in play. Everything is a minimum of three value pays. You will get three or more value pays on anything online, too. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And uh, come Monday, we're going to be going back to our outdoor shows. Fantastic. That's right. All right, we're going to go back to the, today's top value right about now. All right, we promised it. We are back. We have more phone operators ready for you this time. I promise. Start flooding us again. Get on the phone. V91400. The Apocalypse Trifecta. You're getting a Swiss Isa day and date chronograph movement. You are getting a 45 millimeter case, which is, I don't know, an inch and three eighths. I don't know. We'll make something up. I will measure it with the stick in a couple of minutes. You are going to order, I know this sounds funny because they're interchangeable bezels, but you're going to order by bezel color. You'll order either red, which will give you the black dial, blue, which gives you the silver tone dial, or green, which will actually give you a green dial as well. Now, here's the key, and this is why it's called trifecta. I can take that Duracoat bezel with a simple quarter-turn click, remove it, replace it with the stainless steel bezel with the black sterling screws. I can then remove that with a simple quarter-turn and replace that with a stainless steel bezel that has genuine carbon fiber inserts. You will receive all three bezels in your packaging. If you would like, you can then make a separate purchase and you can pick up a set of three straps. They are rubber straps. Two of them have leather inlays. You, I'm sorry, one of them has one, leather inlays. One, one. You can then interchange those. It will come with its own strap changing tool, which is what we actually call a spring bar tool because they are not quick change, but you've got the tool. It'll take you a couple of seconds. V91385. You order blue, you order green, or you order red, and you will be running away the winner. $27 total there, three value pays of $9. But back to the watch. Larry, what you've got here 
is an interchangeable kit that's unlike any other interchangeable that we have aired here at Shop NBC. Well, it's the first time we've ever done this for Sterling Original, absolutely. And anybody picking up on this, I would urge you to, to get the straps. We don't have enough strap sets to cover all the units we have in watches, so be quick on the straps. That also happened last time with the yeah, Alpine, Yeah, exactly. Too. So be quick on the straps. Don't miss that opportunity. And you'll notice here on the red, which looks uh, fantastic on you, Jim, but the red is the one with the black PVD case. The other two color options have the stainless steel mm -hmm. silver tone case. This but is my particular favorite, by the way. If you like the black PVD case, guys, you're going to want to order the red okay, because the primary bezel is the red bezel. And if you noticed on the strap kit, the red straps all had the black PVD buckles as well to go with this uh, red You option. guys are crafty. But it, it, all the bezels have the signature Sterling S screw heads, as you can see. But to me, one of the most exciting things about this, now it is coming mounted on a genuine French leather strap. Uh, this is a, I believe it's a 24 millimeter, Jim. It I'm is. Gonna, and this will yeah. fit about an eight and a half to eight and three quarter inch wrist out of the box. Please remember I said this, eight and a half to eight and three quarter inches out of the box is the maximum wrist size. Yeah, and to me, Jim, to, uh, the most exciting thing to me, and again, I love the whole thing, you know, the interchangeable bezels, the straps, and all this stuff, but when I first saw the samples come in, what really lit me up was the fact that it was a new case size for our apocalypse. Mm -hmm. We have five sizes now in this case. Because you've done the 40, you've done the 42. The, the original was the 42. 42, then you went to a 40. We did, we did a 46 on the Spirit, Spirit okay. Pro, and then we did the 49 the on the XT. And, and then now the Torby on the is, debuts tomorrow. It's about a 52. It's huge. Yeah. But this oh, is. Oh, did a, I let a cat out of the bag? Torby on tomorrow? But Ooh. this is a 45. And to me, uh, that's what I was. I looked at it immediately and said, wait a minute. I was expecting this to come in our yeah. original. 42. This is the 45, so it's a fantastic size, guys. It's a great platform because it gives you a little more presence without being too over the top. Oh, no question. In fact, it plays much larger than 45, in my opinion, because yep. of the extended case that covers the lugs. Yep. It's actually 57 from 12 to 6 because it has covered lugs. Exactly. Uh, Let's go back to the phones if we can. We've got David on hold from the great state of New York. How are you tonight, David? Uh, great, Jim. How are you doing tonight? Doing great. Hey, David, how are you? Now, did you pick up tonight's stop value? Oh, yeah. Two minutes after 12, I picked up the green one and uh, the extra straps. Good for Good you. Job. I Good bet job. you can't wait till this arrives. Oh, I just can't because uh, where are you going to get six different types of style watches in one? Well, if you're buying the straps, you actually can make 12. <laughs> it makes 12 different looks. For like, what, 140 bucks, roughly? If you buy the three extra straps and you have three bezels with a total of four straps because it comes on the leather, that That's makes right. 12 different looks. Right. You're right, Larry. I just, it boggles the mind. <laughs> Believe me, I was playing it with it in the office, and I was making all the different looks really? to see what Did I like Did you get best. funny looks? Well, yeah. listen, you know, uh, I always play with the watches. You know that, Jim. Again, blue, uh, red, or green are your choices. So, David, what was it about the green that uh, that really struck you? I just love the color green, and uh, when I seen it, I, I says, wow, this looks like an interesting watch. And all of a sudden, you, you flashed all the changes on it with the extra uh, bezels and the extra straps. And I says, holy cow. I says, that's a steal. Two yeah. minutes after 12, damn, I grabbed it. Well, I'm really glad that you did. Great sunray finish on that dial as well. David, enjoy your watch. It's been a pleasure having you. Any last-minute comments for Larry on your way out? Larry, just keep up the good work, buddy. You're doing great. Every time Thanks. you come on, a different watch comes up, and uh, you come up with something new. Thank you so much, David. Much love. Appreciate it. Okay. Take, take care, David. Have a great night. Okay, Jim. We'll All right, you, folks. Thank you so much. Uh, here's the deal. You've got to act now. One thing I didn't do, and I, I regret this, and I'm going to take care of that right now. Sure, I did not show you the packaging and how you guys have, have specially packaged this one. It's completely different. The yeah. exterior looks the same. You're used to that that very high end, uh, like you'd expect like a bottle of cognac or something to be in this. And then you open it up. And you've got your watch. Now, the ends of the strap are hidden because it's actually kind of laid in there. And then you've got the bezels. Mm -hmm. laid in there. It's, it's, it's a practical and easy presentation. It also looks great. Imagine if you're giving this as a gift. Now, there will be a black outer sleeve with gold foil, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, for the writing. And when they open this up, they're going to go, oh, my goodness. Yeah. And I've got the watch. And I've got these extra bezels. <laughs> what have you done? This is amazing. I could never equal this great gift. How could I return the favor? And you only paid 40 bucks a month.
Yeah, it's great, Jim. You know, we're, it's, it's very exciting. Like you say, we've never done the interchangeable bezels before. We've never done it with, you know, then a separate strap set to go with it. Uh, it's all new for us. And uh, I think we should know, look at the dial detail, too, because we haven't even touched on that. You guys spent a lot of time designing this dial painstakingly from the, the yeah. hand-applied hour markers, but the 6 o'clock sub-dial, I think, is what really kind of stands out on this watch. Well, very much so, absolutely, Jim. Uh, what you have, instead of a, uh, it's the day of the week, and instead of having a hand that points to, you know, the static Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, mm -hmm. which is on the dial, you've actually got a skeletonized uh, wheel that's turning and so the large opening in the wheel is what's going to actually reveal the day of the week. You actually have to rotate it and you'll see what I'm talking about. I can do that. We can go yeah. past, uh, clear it past midnight there. We got to come all the way back around. And will this be midnight or noon? Oh, there it goes. It now it's moved. Monday. Now it says Monday. See, the, the opening was on Sunday and so it was a little bit hidden there, but now the large opening is going to Monday. So as the days change, it will then be highlighted. It will be the only unobstructed day, so you'll very clearly know which day of the week it is. Exactly. You have the open expanded aperture for the calendar with an indicating arrow, which, by the way, will have luminescence built in, mm -hmm. and it actually says date, so you can't forget. Now, your fully functioning chronograph, let's go over that. I've got the crown pushed back in. When I hit the top pusher, it will activate my stopwatch. That will start the large chronograph hand. That's the chronograph seconds. What you see at the two o'clock position is always running no matter what because that's the seconds for your time of day. That is separate from the chronograph plate and, and you do not need to have anything running for that to happen. As this passes, every time it passes 12, a minute will click off and this is your minutes totalizer for up to 30 minutes. If I stop it and then I reset it with the lower pusher, You'll notice the very smooth reset, which is a signature of the Swiss ESA brand mm -hmm. in their manufacturing skills. You'll notice that hand is still moving because, again, that's your seconds hand. You know, we've got some great uh, footage of how these bezels change and all that. We're going to show that to you here if we can. And then when we're done with that, we're going to go back to the phones. Okay. You, that sound good to you? Sounds great. All right, then. Check this out. Oh, one quarter turn is all you need to unlock the magical bezel. The bezel's not really magic, just don't tell anybody. So that's all it takes, one quarter turn to lock and unlock, that's it, very simple. Let's go back to the phones, Alan in New Jersey. How are you tonight, Alan? How you doing, guys? Doing Hello, great. Alan. Thank you for calling in, what brings you to the show? Uh, well, I've got a collection, I guess, somewhere between 325 and 350 watches. Yeah, so you got a few. 90% uh, of them come from Shop NBC. Uh, I love the way you, you pre present a product. Uh, your pricing is fantastic. Oh, thank but you. You brought out Sterling, I guess, about a year and a half ago. And the designs are so unique. And all my friends know I'm a, a collector. But I don't always get comments on the watch when I when I bring out a new one. Mm -hmm. But I, it has never failed that when I bring out a Sterling, there's something about the way it's configured, the engineering, the design factor, that just pops. And uh, one of the previous callers said he called in at two minutes after midnight. I was the caller right after him, <laughs> okay? And that green just pops off the screen. Yeah. Okay? I mean, it, it, it's color unto itself. There's just no way of, of confusing it with any other watch. Yeah. Thank you so much, Alan. Did you get the uh, green rubber straps to go with it? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. By the way, I just took you off know, the red bezel and put the carbon fiber on. Deal. Oh. Look at that. That is gorgeous in the carbon fiber. Uh, just kind of sitting here playing around and swapped it out. I'll swap it out again to the uh, st stainless steel. Alan, you made a great choice. I'm really glad that you pulled the trigger on that. Enjoy it. Uh, how many Sterling watches would you guess that you own at this point? Uh, I, it's, it's, with this one, it's 14. That's fantastic. Uh, we appreciate Thank the you. support. Thank you much so love. very much. Thank you so much. Enjoy. The alone is worth the cost of the watch. i got to tell you. Well, good. I'm fantastic. glad to hear that. Thank you. Okay. Very I cool. Keep them in, I keep them in my cases with the cloth, 
you know, it's, sure. it's like a gift from heaven. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you so much, Alan. Enjoy and have a great I, night. I appreciate it. Bye-bye now. All right, Thanks. folks, I have now swapped over to the stainless steel bezel because I really want you to see how dramatically different the watches look when it's changed. Showing you just the colored bezel means nothing. There is the stainless steel. And I'll tell you, if you're buying the red, you're getting the black case, the carbon fiber bezel, that to me was the ticket. But that's yeah. just me. Well, you know, I'm a little bit of a freak that way. Well, you know, Jim, uh, uh, not too long ago, we did our Alpine Challenge as a TTV, and that was the first time we used Duracoche mm -hmm. finishing uh, in our company. This is, now we've got the Duracoche finishing on the uh, primary bezels uh, on the uh, Apocalypse Trifecta. And I just love the finishing on the Duracoche as well. I do too. It's a smooth, slick finish. Very it's smooth. a very tough finish. Now, we're not saying it's like, you know, like ridiculously scratch resistant, like ceramic. We're not saying that. Right. But it is a very tough coating, mm -hmm. more so than standard IP finishes. Yeah. Now, if you, in case you're wondering the watch I'm wearing on my wrist, my own personal watch that I own, it is this. You can buy it if you're quick. I've only got about 25. V91215, the numbered limited edition. All blacked out El Capo. I cannot stress to you how rare this watch is. The automatic movement, the fully decorated dial. This is one of the sexiest watches Sterling ever made. Yeah, I That's call why it, I own it. I call I'm a it our, sexy devil. I call it our espionage version, Jim. You know, I know you always like to use the word combat, but for me, it's such a dressy when piece. When I'm doing my uh, my black ops, I'm wearing that watch right, right there. It's 250 pieces, Jim, in the edition right there. And we've only got like 20, by the way, in yeah. stock, and that's, that's it. All right. It, yeah. It's time to... Oh, my goodness, this is gorgeous. I tell you, if I wore suits more often, I would be all up in this. V9... <laughs> V91467. It is the Ascot Pavilion. Now, I'm not showing you the real magic of this yet because I want you to fall in love with the diameter. I want you to fall in love with the intricate detail of the dial. Th then we're going to show on the magic. Sure. Okay. Check this out. It's, it's gold tone or rose tone. I'm hoping that's how we named it because there's no other difference in the watches. Now, you give them millimeters, I'll give them inches. Oh, absolutely, Jim. How how many inches do you think I have in my hand, Larry? <laughs> <laughs> or oh, actually on my wrist. I'm not holding it anymore. Oh, okay. Uh, probably about... Uh, I'm going to say it's a 48 millimeter, so uh, that I'm makes it about two. two inches, right? No, it's just under two. Uh, it's what? No, really? An inch and three quarters. I think it's about a 45. So we're going to call this a 46 millimeter. Okay. All right, so 46 millimeter, inch and three quarters. Now, here's the magic. You look at the beauty, the depth of the depressions in the dial would dictate there's a lot of depth here. It's very three-dimensional. It has a lot of terrain. But, oh, 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 oh uber slim how in the world do you achieve this larry well you know jim this is from our ascot park series uh, in our classic collection and the entire series the hallmark of the series is the slim line everything in it is the super slim quartz pieces uh you know so uh, that's what the whole series is all about it's a quartz movement as you can see with the small second hand but the sterling hallmarks are all there i mean you've got the dial work you've got the applied indices there it is I got to tell you, man, this is hot. Yeah, you know, especially, you know, just like a, a, a watch to wear to the office. If you're one of those kind of guys that you have to get somewhat dressed up. This makes me want to wear pants more often. <laughs> I mean, forget about being dressed up. It's rare that I'm even wearing pants. I'm not right. wearing pants right now. I would want to wear pants just to be able to wear this watch. It is elegant for the times that you've got to make that powerful presentation. You've got to go out on the town. Maybe you've got to go to a wedding. Maybe it's going to be your own wedding. This is the watch right here. The great thing is, and here's why, why I'm telling you to buy this. This, if it were smaller, just take away the size looks like an estate piece. Like this is, you know, 50, mm -hmm. 60 years old. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a timeless classic. It will never go out of style. And it's affordable. You would expect to have paid hundreds, maybe $1,000 for a look equal to this. This is, I'm sorry. This should have been at least $199. To do it for 83 bucks, it almost devalues the product. I don't want you to think I'm buying an $84 watch. You're not. If this were an $84 watch, I would tell you. If this watch sold in a store for under $500, I would be in awe. And also, Jim, did you notice on the dial it's got the uh, markings for 24 if you wanted to read? Military you know, time? If you wanted to say, okay, if it's 10 o'clock, it's either going to be 10 or 22. 
Look at that. 2200. Oh, I'm telling you, man. Here it is with a suit. I, 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 and here, I, I, you're, you're listening to a guy that owns a Sterling Torbion. And I'm telling you, for $83, this is one of the most beautiful watches I have ever seen come out of Sterling. If you don't believe me, if you think I'm still loopy from the, the <laughs> drugs they gave me from my surgery, if you think I'm just embellishing, I challenge you to challenge me. Put the watch on any major credit card. If it don't stack up, you get to send it back and get 100% of your purchase price back, whether it be the 83 bucks or the $27 value pay. What have you got to lose? Try it and try me. I guarantee you, you're going to get this watch and go, no way this should have ever sold for $84 well, any day. Well, you know, Jim, this followed up on our Ascot, and uh, I don't think we ever brought the Ascot to Shop NBC, but no. it looks similar, but it's a 40 millimeter. Then we came out with the larger version, and a slightly a different, man size. Slightly different uh, dial look to it here, and we call it the Ascot Pavilion. This I is the 45. This. I'm telling you, this is a watch I want to see more and more and more here on the shows in different variations and different dials. I am telling you this may be the sleeper hit in the Sterling collection. You're seeing a debut here today, and I guarantee you it's going to sell out. And I want to see it come back more often. This is, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm completely geeking out because I love watches just like you do. You guys know me. I don't dress up often. I have my luxury watches, my dress watches. I do own them. I do wear them when the time is right. This is a watch that makes me want to dress up just to have an excuse to exhibit this on my wrist. Wow. It is. You're not missing anything. Let's go back to that shot if we can, if you guys don't mind. The depth of the decorated dial the classiness of the sub-dial markings with the simple stick markings, the hand-applied rose tone markings that are on there for the hours. Look at these. These are individual digits hand-applied, the 2-2, two, two, the 2-3, two, the 2-4. There's a lot of expensive detail in that dial. All right, we got to go. We got to move on. I'm telling you, if you're not buying that watch, you will regret it. That's just the way it is. Now, we went from just an uber slim watch. Now, look what we're going to. We're going to go to a big brick. By the way, we're shining the spotlight of exceptional value on the checkerboard cut drop gemstone earrings. And you say that five times fast, you'll have a career in television, too. Made a solid 14 karat gold links in between those gemstones. You're going to pick this up for only $87.78. We have sold more than 1,000 of these since they debuted in September. Tomorrow is your shot to get more. 3 p.m. Eastern. Tune in to Gem Treasures. I'd rock one of those. <laughs> Just one, though. A little dangle thing over here. A little dangle going on. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, we're going to move into a really hot, popular watch. You're actually quite lucky to even be seeing this because every time we air this, in particular, the bronze sells out before we even go to air. Everybody wants it. I am, however, going to highlight the black version first. This is V91411. This is the Metropole Elite. It is big, it is blocky, it is gorgeous, and it's curved to wrap around the wrist. This is a sin that we only have two minutes. The intricate bracelet alone I could spend five minutes on. The intricate case construction and curvature. The multi-levels that it's machined and manufactured in. I could spend 10 minutes alone. The dial, you could go swimming in that dial, it's so deep. And the mechanical automatic movement, it's a masterpiece. It will wear as if you're wearing a 48 millimeter watch. It is big, it is blocky, it's chunky. Yeah, it's a big one. I'll tell you, this is the finest bracelet that we have ever manufactured. Absolutely. It's the finest bracelet Without we've ever doubt. done. We went all out on this bracelet, guys. The bracelet alone uh, is a reason enough to buy this timepiece. You'll just love wearing it. Uh, many of you have seen me wear mine. I've got the silver tone black. This is the rose tone brown that I'm showing. And the brown PVD gives this really, uh, I know you like to call yeah, it you an got aubergine. This, yeah, look at the links here. You've got an aubergine, a deep eggplant purple that comes out of that bronze. It's unlike anything you're ever going to own. And I tell you, as much as I've liked the silver tone, 
I, I will oh, the own the black. rose black. Rose I black. will own the they're, rose they're black. They're both great, but you're right, Jim. The rose black is absolutely rich. I mean, it's gorgeous. Again, another watch that makes you want to dress up. And it's slightly curved. It's fabulous, guys. You're going to love that piece. Now you're going to go from a watch that makes you want to dress up in a suit. Ooh. We're going to go to a sporty watch that makes you want to wear, I don't know, a bright orange thong on the beach. No, but look with the spotlight, Jim. Oh, and hey, we've got a spotlight to talk about, too. This, oh, tomorrow, <laughs> if you're not here <laughs> during watch time with Jim, I guarantee you you will kick yourself. The world debut Look at the price. of the Apocalypse Revelation 52 millimeter <laughs> genuine tourbillon. You know, I was hoping we were going to be able to squeak it under a grand, and I, they just showed the price. So. Did they? Yeah, they. What they, was it? I they didn't flashed see it. it up there. They what was it? It was nine ninety eight. Oh, so oh! I wasn't sure they were going to be able to squeak it. There it is. Oh, but oh, uh, oh, guys, that's exciting. Now we only have two hundred to sell, hundred of each, guys. So. I guarantee uh, two minutes or less be, sell out. You're going to have to be super quick on that. That is spectacular. Okay. It's 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 beefy. You don't want to miss that. No. Anyway, back to I was mentioning. This is a really sporty watch. The nine one four one seven. I love that. It looks like rhinoceros hide. It's rubber. But it's the way they've done this kind of cracked wrinkle pattern going through it. It's tough. It's rough. It's yeah. it's. I, it's it's unique. It's different. Or is there anything like it? It's 125 bucks. It's four value pays at 31.25. Think of it as essentially a dollar a day. Who can't afford a dollar a day? If you can't afford a dollar a day, go to your kids' room, break open the piggy bank, make it up, go get them an ice cream tomorrow or something, and get this watch. Buy it now. Here's the deal. Again, you give the millimeters, I'll give the inches. Well, this is 49 millimeters, guys. This is a big case. And this is actually our Torino Lista. Not the Torino. The Torino doesn't have the calendar. This one has the calendar, guys. So this is the Torino Lista. It's from our Italia series in our Lifestyles collection, Jim. So it's very got that Italian influence of design, very Milano-ish. <gasps> but here it is, guys. 49 millimeters, great sport watch, great knockaround piece. I feel like more of a man just wearing this. I think I grew three more chest hair it, when I strapped yeah, it on. Yeah, it's, it's pretty large, Jim. So it's testosterone injected. You know, listen, you know I love orange. I got to try the orange. Yeah, you on. put the orange on because that's going to go great with a pinstripe suit. Well, listen, just, you know, forget the suit, but just, you know, I like color, you know? <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to go back to the phone. We got Bill out. in California. How are you, Bill? Hey, hey Bill. Hey, Jim. How you doing? And, uh, uh, how is everybody there tonight? Uh, I picked up the, uh, the Legacy, and I picked it up in the gray and the red, and I think that's an extremely unique color, Larry. I've never seen a watch quite as beautiful with the gray and the red uh, highlights there. Well, you know, actually, it's a good point. Uh, that gray is, uh, is it's somewhere between Battleship and, and Charcoal. It's not, uh, it's a, good, a good call on your part uh, to even pick up on that on TV, actually. Yeah, I appreciate it. And much, as much as I love my Delphi's, Romalia's, Saturnalia's, uh, the rose and uh, <clears throat> black, and the all combat black uh, Il Capos that I have. Are, yeah, isn't that a they're, hot watch? They're they're where it's at, Jim. You know that. Yeah, that that, that that's just. I love it. I have a hard time ever taking it off. As a matter of fact, last time I came to New York and visited you, yeah, you it was were. the only watch I brought. I don't ever do that. I brought one watch to wear for two days, and I, I couldn't take it off. So, yeah, I'm right there with you on that. Uh, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And, and one last quick thing, Larry. Uh, you should be complimented. You have. Uh, I had a, a very minor issue with uh, customer service to deal with, and they were so fantastic. And I want to give a lot of kudos out to a young lady named Frady. Mm -hmm. uh, she's just fantastic and uh, it just makes me think all the more of your company. So take care guys. I love you both. And Thank you, Bill. God bless. Thank, Thank you, Bill. You. Have yourself love. a great night. Enjoy. We'll talk again. Okay. All Thank right. Thank you very much. I, I had to put on the silver tone white because a lot of guys are afraid to wear white strap watches. We're now seeing that it's really taking over. I mean, it's been a big thing in Italy and Europe for like five years. It's just now coming to the U.S. as being a big thing. And guys are realizing, hey, I can wear white. You have to wear the right thing. You can't wear like a powder blue shirt and an all-white watch. It will look feminine. There's nothing feminine now about a white watch. I now own like five all-white watches. It, it, but, again, you do have hey, to dress I the love, parts. I love wearing white, uh, white watches. Uh you know, I remember way back in the was it the late '60s when they or early '70s when they started wearing white baseball <laughs> shoes, and everybody thought, "What is this?" My goodness, the world is coming to an uh, end. You remember that? No. With the Oakland A's, oh gosh, it was awesome. <laughs> and you know, I started wearing white shoes. That you know, and and from there on, I oh, wear white pants, white suits, white <laughs> watches. Oh. 
I'm serious. I'm picturing you in like a white leisure suit with your, with a big medallion. I, I actually have a white suit. Let me tell you, I wear it in Vegas. It's my Vegas suit, man. <laughs> but you know, really, Jim, the white strap with the black with do you the pop black your collar up? With, yeah, a little bit with the black bezel. You walk with a little swagger, do you? <laughs> when I win. That you know what right. we, we all walk with a little swagger. That's right. Wow. All right. You know I'm just going to get off this topic because it's going to get dangerous. V nine one four one seven thirty one dollars a month, a dollar a day. I'm telling you, if you want something comfortable, you want something cool, this is a great watch for you. By the way, the complications on this the twelve o'clock position, you're going to be getting your calendar. Now it's on a very simple wheel, uh, hand indication. You get a 24-hour indication. That is an AM, PM, our military time indication. Let you know if you're in AM or PM mode. Very simple. But a retrograde day of the week. Now, apparently Sterling does not care about Mondays, <laughs> Wednesdays, or Fridays in their world. It's all about the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I'm just kidding. There is an indication in between each. They're making it large so it's easier to read because you know what? None of us are getting any younger. It's also a very Italian, European kind of look to do something right. crazy and unpredictable yeah. like that. That's the Torino Lista, Jim. Indeed. You know what? I'm feeling a bit crazy and unpredictable. I know it's uh, completely unlike me. I'm such a mellow person by nature. We're going to talk about the uh, today's top value once again when we come back next hour. And that is V914 double O. Because it, it's it's that cool. It's a double O. It's double O cool. $118.27. The trifecta! And by the way, if you want to change the look even more, we'd say 12 different looks. If you Go buy the, the strap set, yeah. If you're going to buy the watch, I would strongly urge you to buy the strap set, guys. Believe me, I was like I said, I was playing with these watches, uh, you know, at my in my office, trying to figure out the different looks and put them all together. And I, you know, I can't imagine having it without having the straps because it makes such a difference. You know what I find to be a lot of fun. We, we we've. <laughs> We've made so many changes while I've been gone. And one of the things is these these new stands and make the, the pretty little acrylic displays. Sure. Where it really, you know, you've got that, that look where it's always standing up. Now, now our wonderful visuals team, they have to be somewhat psychic. They have to guess what color the host wants to wear. And you're doing a fantastic job, by the way. I would have naturally uh, gravitated toward the blue, and that's exactly what I got. So there we go. V91459. You've got two choices, blue or uh, orange. Larry's going to tell you there is no color choice besides orange. I'm here to tell you I if like you're a blue both. jeans guy, you've got to do the blue because that is the hotness. Look at that on the wrist and tell me you don't want it. If you didn't want it, you wouldn't be here. $198.91. Four value pays of $49.73. Larry, you give them the MMs, I'll give them the INs. Well, this is 49 millimeters uh, case size, Jim, and this is our Gen X Pro. Look at okay? that. Big chunk of wood right across the watch right there. Uh, we're going to call that uh, two inches. There you go. But, you know, everybody, you guys are familiar with our Gen X. We came out with it last year in a 45-millimeter case design. We bumped it up to the Gen X Pro. Oh, look at that. And this is now uh, execution numbers five and six now, Jim. I don't know which looks better, Larry. Two, two brand, uh, well, they're different. Oh, very different. man. They're very, very different. But I'm feeling a tingling. Two black PVD executions here in 2010, never I'm seen before. I'm getting giggly in all my tickly spots. I think I need one of these, too. Well, you know, Jim, one of the things that makes this piece hot is the uh, three-dimensionality of the dial. That's right. Uh, it's got great depth. As you can see, the complications here with the retrograde day of the week indication. I have to a, show them what it does. It's got the bridge. You see, it's got a, this one has a kind of a gunmetal base dial, as you can see right there. But Jim is actually showing you now the day of the week. It's Saturday, Sunday, and it's going to snap back to Monday. But you see how it kind of underlies the acrylic bridge? and it, under, it underscores the day of the week. So it's not just a hand, right. but it's even highlighting it with a blue. You know what, the orange has got a really set. Let's take a look at the orange. Let's do it. Let's do me, it. You're gonna show it? I'm gonna do it. And, and it's on a bracelet. This is, this is why it's our Gen X Pro. Our Gen X Pro is the one on the bracelet. Now later tonight, we might actually have our new Gen X Sport here. Uh, I don't know if it's planned for this, uh, our three hour block here, Jim. <laughs> that was my prepared to show you the hand look, by the way. Here's the orange. Da, da, yeah, da. And, and you're right, Jim. I, I, I always do prefer the orange. Or the blue is fabulous. They're both fabulous. But the two black PBD executions here. Look, i got to ask you to do me a favor. Uh, it, it's really important that, that, you, that you help me out with this. Stop making so many killer watches because I, <laughs> I can't decide. Tonight, if I were sitting at home, I would have already bought four watches. I want to put this My on. wife would have already killed me. 
Can I put this on, guys? You can go for All it. Right. You just rip it right off there. Wee! Okay. All right. But, you know, I see an orange watch. It's got the See, they keep giving me more props. It's more crap for me to play with. That's all I got to hey, say. Hey, listen, guys, it has a diver's flip-lock safety clasp as well. Nice, uh, solid oh, stainless steel. I like steel that orange, bracelet. too. It, and you got out. the color-coordinating uh, gasket, the O-ring on the crown. Yeah. Just a little touch of color against an otherwise completely blacked-out, stealthed-out, ninja-like, uh, stealthy look there. There we go. Wow. I'm telling you, man, for 198 bucks. You got to do it. You got to do it. The three-dimensionality. Look at this, guys. Can you see those indices right there that stick out and then go down? Now, the interesting thing about this series so far, now, eventually, we'll make, we, we may do something different. But so now, far, now, three different models in this, in this Gen X line, they all have the exact same movement, the exact same complications. Yeah, and you don't, you don't use a lot of Citizen Miota movements, but you, you, when you do select them, you usually select something unique. And this one having the retrograde day of the week, right. having a 24-hour indication, it allows you to do some interesting dial placements. Yeah, very much so. Uh, I, I think it was just a winning dial design, so we've kind of stuck with it now so far through the Gen X, Gen X Pro, and Gen X Sport. But uh, these two brand new executions here in all black. I'm PBD, telling you, for hot. those of you ordering this, I want you to look, you know, on our system, it's going to tell you the estimated date of arrival. When that day comes, lay down a drop cloth at the front door because you are going to be so excited when this opens up. I'm telling you, you're going to drool uncontrollably. This is, it, this is one of those watches that you're going to sit there and stare at it and, and play with it and, and stare into the dial and the details for probably 10 minutes before you ever get around to sizing it, before you even take it out of the box. You're just going to be staring at it. And it is going to be one of those watches that's going to make you look foolish in front of your wife. What do I mean by that? Follow along with me because I know you've been there. You're doing this. And you're just staring at your watch, and she walks up and goes, oh, honey, what time is it? I don't know. You haven't got a clue, because you're not looking. You're staring at the detail in that sterling dial. This watch is going to do that to you, just a forewarning. Well, you know, the Gen X has become such a big franchise for us, Jim, and uh, we're doing a lot more with it as well. So uh, there's more to come with this. You know, once we have a hot number like this and we see the acceptance of it, you know, we take off with it, and uh, that's what's happening here with the Gen X. Look at the dial work on this piece. I mean, you look at the multiple components, the multiple layers, the depth of that cannon pinion with all the hands that have to go literally pass over I'm these telling three you, dimensions. If you guys had any idea how difficult it was to manufacture dials like this, you would gladly spend double and probably give uh, Larry a big wet kiss uh, because it is... It is a great deal. We're going to take a little bit of a break right now because my little heart can't handle anymore. We're going to come back, though, with a uh, another airing of today's top value. You better get on the phone, mister. Get over there. Start the spring off in style with beautiful gemstones. Shop NBC is celebrating Gemstone Gallery's second anniversary with a stunning variety of brilliant gemstone jewelry. Tune in all week at 5 a.m. and 2 p.m. for exciting offers on select items with anniversary pricing. And receive free shipping with purchases made on your Shop NBC credit card. Gemstone Gallery's second anniversary on Shop NBC. Solid craftsmanship. Intricate design. Shop NBC presents Polish Stoneware. Crafted and individually hand painted in Bolesławie, it's Poland. This beloved and time honored tradition is not only elegant, but also functions as durable daily dishware. Never before has fine art meshed so beautifully with functionality. Polish Stoneware on Shop NBC. We have a lot of fun with MYC, too. <laughs> These dolls are bigger, they're bolder, they're more fashion forward, and most of all, they're affordable. MYC, too, is genuine gemstone jewelry set in sterling silver, bathed in pure platinum or 18 karat gold. Enjoy a special presentation of exciting new designs with exotic gemstones. It's the best thing to happen to jewelry. MYC, too, right here on Shop NBC. Go forth and embrace the essence of 
spring with Shop NBC. Think fresh new designs for you and your home all month long. Embrace this transition period with big introductions and watches. Fresh spring items to spruce up your bedroom oasis. Big anniversaries for many of your favorite brands and all new items for your outdoors. It's time to wake up and spring back into action. Catch what's coming. Spring Fever on Shop NBC. How you doing, huh? It's all about you. It's all about today's top value, and it's all about spring fever. That's right, spring fever. Spring fever. Uh, we're celebrating the arrival of spring. And if you're a Minnesotan, that means it's above eight degrees. It was funny. We kicked off spring fever, it was 60 degrees, right? The first day of spring fever event, it dropped down to 30. That makes no sense whatsoever. Tomorrow, we're back in the 50s, so it's a good thing. You're going to get three or more value pays on everything, not only on the air, but online as well. That's right. Now, we brought this out to you last month in kind of the red, white, and blue. Today, the Nautico comes out in the black IP. Now, you can go the all black, the triple black, I should say, or you can do the black and gold. And I'm telling you, that's a screaming hot look. Check that out when we get to it. And... The Metropolis V91414. This is the automatic with a little secret. I'm not going to tell you the secret right now because I want you to stay on the hook. I want you to be here and we're going to experience it together. $182.12. And one more for your viewing delight. Brand new colors, brand new execution, brand new dial. Oh, oh. the ladies. Alpine Slalom, V91458. I think I see blue. I think I see purple. But we call it magenta. Just throw a little wrench in the works. And I think I see Larry. And that means a new today's top value coming your way. Zero, zero, you know it, you love it, it's the apocalypse. But now all of you apocalyptomaniacs, as Larry likes to call you, you're getting a brand new case size. That's right, my friends, 45 millimeters now. You're getting a brand new execution in the fact that you're getting an interchangeable. No, not just interchangeable straps, and of course you can do that if you'd like, but it's an interchangeable bezel system. Now you're thinking to yourself, hey, why would I want that? I'm going to tell you in a couple of seconds. Right now we're going to introduce our very good friend, Mr. Larry Megan. He's the president of North American Operations for Sterling Original. Welcome back, bud. Hey, Jim. It's great to be back, and it's so nice to see you back on the air again, Jim. And Thank you. I was all concerned about you. I thought you were fighting for your life, and then, no. and then I saw you out here bringing your comeback with Wing and everything, and... You were your old self again. You were just... Uh, oh, you can't keep me down. I think you were just oh. taking a vacation there, Jim. That's what it was. Three but weeks. But I'll tell you what, it's exciting to be here vacation. with the TTV, uh, you know, and having you back to do the TTV for us, uh, the top value of the day. And uh, mm -hmm. I'll tell you, you know, it was two years ago, Jim, that we came back to Shop NBC. And if you remember that yep. comeback, I do. Uh, we launched the apocalypse, and that just took over the show that night. That and, was so And huge. here we are two years later now, and we're going to have an anniversary show in about 10 days from today. But here we are now, two years later, doing it, our top value, or today's top value, off of the apocalypse in a new case size with interchangeable bezels. You still have a Swiss quartz chronograph, but this one has the day and date. That's a right. A Swiss quartz day and date chronograph, interchangeable bezels. And then with all of that, you, and then you take a look at the price. It's... It, it, it is almost half of what we were selling, you know, when we launched the apocalypse. I'm so this, this is look. just tremendous, guys. <gasps> Jim just popped off one bezel. Now, by the way, this <sighs> is the carbon fiber bezel. Every execution, no matter if you order the green, blue, or red, they all come with the carbon fiber bezel. And it's got a lacquer finish, Jim, on top of the carbon fiber as well. You still have the signature Sterling S screw heads, as you can see. It's got a stainless steel bezel. But there's that. 
we haven't really talked much about it yet, but the Apocalypse case design is truly one of the most um, recognizable designs uh, in the entire watch industry. There's a lot of companies taking their whack at this particular look, and we've been doing it now for a long time, you know? In fact, you remember I actually sent you one is it as a wickety whack? As a, I sent you one as a Christmas gift about uh, four right. years ago. When you were in between not here anymore, That's right. you and I stayed in contact. And I still own it. I still love it. But as they've gotten bigger, they've gotten even cooler. And again, you see how easy that was, how I just popped that right off of there. I I'm going to go back to the carbon fiber. Go ahead. It's hard to say which one I you, love the most. The you just, the you just play fiber. and I'll talk, Jim. I mean, look. Uh, yeah, that was great. I mean, but boom, boom, yeah, bam. That's hot. That's hot. But, you know, I really like the red one on there. But you're right, sometimes you're not going to want to wear the red. Yeah, carry these around in your... I don't have a pocket tonight. <laughs> carry these around in your pocket and, and mesmerize your friends. Because before you went to the bathroom, you had a red bezel. When you came out of the bathroom, you had a silver tone bezel. And don't think they won't notice. What would and happen? play mind games with them. Go, what, I don't know what you're talking about. You're what, out of your mind. What would happen if you put the red bezel on the green one? And then you say, stop staring at me as I'm <laughs> going to the bathroom because it makes me uncomfortable. You know, Jim, if you buy the red, the, the red and the green watches, you can, and you put the red bezel on the green you watch. You can mix and match. You know? It would be nutty. You know how the Italian flag is red and, and green? And I, white? I know it well. So you could, you know, play that thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, here we and go. And you'd also get... Now, here's the, what it looks like without the bezel, by the way. You'd get the Christmas comments, too, if you went red and green. Get an uh, idea of uh, but, you know, how the I, crystal is I'm manufactured. I'm going to tell you something. You know, my, my favorite of the bunch... Actually, today I was I was wearing the green one all day today, but uh, it comes on a leather strap as well, guys. But my favorite one of the bunch actually is the blue with the silver tone dial. Really? You think I should put that on? Well, you don't have to. I think it'd be fair because, you know, I haven't really shown you the other ones very much. I, I really like the silver tone dial with the blue. Uh, you know, and then if you get the blue rubber straps to go with it, I mean, you know I like to wear jeans a lot, Jim. When we're out during the day and everything, the blue is, that's your everyday you know, sport watch, knocking around. Here's the rubber That's strap the, how set. how you doing, look. Yeah, here's the rubber strap set, guys. Uh, again, this is not coming with the watch. And you'll notice the red has the black PVD buckles because, the again, the red uh, bezel the red has a black PVD case, guys. Mm -hmm. If you like that black PVD, which I love as well, you want to order the red. Oh, sorry. I was going to switch did, out the did bezels. You, did you say you had the straps over here to put? I do. I've got, I got straps. I got bezels. I got tools. Oh, I got rulers. Yeah. See, to me, this is my favorite of the bunch is the blue because it goes it's so clean. well with jeans. Every day, you just, you know, it's just a great everyday piece for the guys. The case size is perfect. I remember the key with this is you have to push down. And you're doing it while you're wearing it, which Jim is right. You can do it while you wear it, but truthfully, it's a little more difficult while you're wearing it. I see, think. I find it kind of easier. That's do you really? Uh, I'm, I'm nutty like that, though. Yeah. It's but, just harder when you got to put it back on to find the, the little notch. So you got to yeah, drop it Yeah, when you put in. it back on, you got oh, there's two little oh, notches, guys. Oh, that, oh, 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 silver tone with carbon fiber. That's yeah. the ticket right there. Yeah, well, now, if you can hold up a blue strap to it, though. I can. I have to move my arm, though, because they're to my left. Hold on. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delight you with movement just, of my just hand Just hold here. it up to it, okay? Yeah. Now, you know, the thing about this, guys, on the straps... What do you think they, of this? They don't have the quick change pins. So you do get a quick change. You get a tool to change with it. Now, this is one of the options here with the boxed edges. And so, you know, it, when I was changing them, you know, in the office, you actually have time to bond with your watch, Jim. <laughs> I, know you're, I knew you were going to laugh at that. But I'm serious I about laugh because I've actually said that when people say, when you've got to do the time change and you have hundreds of watches, I'm like, that's your time to bond with your watches. Oh, you, you yeah, have said that? I have. Maybe I stole it from you. I don't know. Oh, I never said it on the air, I don't oh, think. Oh, okay. Now here, this, this look is Where'd hot too. Where did go? Yeah. You want me to play with the green next, Tom? You know what? I'll do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put yeah. the blue bezel back on so that it's a complete set again. And I'm going to strip it off my wrist and the go green for the green. The green is probably the most striking with the rubber straps, with the green straps. You get that green strap with the green dial, the green bezel. I mean, it's... I mean, it's really striking, guys. I, like I said, I was playing with these in the office to see what I like best. Green is bright. It yeah. is the sportiest of all three, in my opinion. Absolutely. In fact, this and is... And the most Irish. I went over to the uh, Southdale Mall today, just shopping around a little bit, and this is... The, the first mall, first indoor mall uh, in America. Oh, was it? It was. Okay. But this is the one that I was wearing today, exactly what you're wearing here with the black strap, the green bezel, the green dial. Yeah, I'm just going to... I. I yeah. I like. You know, can we show that wonderful animation that we spent literally tens of uh, of dollars <laughs> on? I have no idea how much was spent on it, but it was certainly worth every penny. Look at that! Whoa! As if by magic.
And it is that simple. You hear me doing it in the background. I want to see if the carbon fiber looks as good on the green. Uh, you know, uh, opinions vary. But you have a green strap over here? I do, but again, it's to my left. Oh, okay. So, I mean, there it is with the carbon fiber. Again, you push down, you give it a quarter turn, and I find it easier if I just put it upside down and jiggle it a little bit. You see those little notches, Jim, right TV. there? At three and nine, right there, Jim. What? There's, yeah. I just want to let everybody know. You got your notches. You got That's your alignment notch, notches. And then on the bezel, there's a notch that it fits under. So. And there are four ball bearings. Those, what well, those ball bearings are doing, they're, they're, they're applying pressure upwards on the bezel. And that's what keeps it locked in. And then when you unlock it, it assists you by helping it pop up. So there, boom. That's all it took. It was just that simple. I kind of like this look the best on the green. It mutes it. It's pretty hot. And, and again, you, know, you push down. The exposed date wheel is nice turn too a quarter as well, turn. Jim. Give it a little jiggle while you have it upside down. You see, this is why I oh, say... Oh, I didn't give it the full quarter this, turn. There this, it is. This is why I say, to me, it's easier when you're not wearing it. But the fact that you're doing it while you're wearing it just shows how talented you really are, Jim. Oh, well, thank you're you. You're a very multi-talented guy. I am. You know, the guy can change... I'm playing the accordion with my feet. <laughs> he can change bezels blindfolded, but very nicely done. All right, so here's the deal. Three color choices, green, red, or blue. Buying by bezel color. There's your case back, which is, uh, that's, for, that's from the red one, by the way, where it's all black see, IP. You see the Sterling S right there, Jim? Big Sterling we S. We do that on all of the apocalypses, have that S, that big case back S. It's an apocalyptic letter. And yeah. there, by the way, are all the functions of the movement. Uh, the, uh, the small yeah. second sub dial at 2 o'clock, the interchangeable bezel. you got the exposed date wheel over there yeah. at the uh, 4 o'clock position. The chrono. Oh, they named it sweep hand because uh, stop center. A little overly technical That's there. That's the but, stop uh, center. Sweep uh, hand. It is the chron chronograph hand or right. chronograph seconds. Uh, but it does have a smooth sweeping operation as if it were a mechanical or automatic. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show it to you in motion. Are you ready? I'm going to give it a little push. Oh. Did we have the crown pulled? Oh, okay. There it's you already go. stopped. You know, Jim, the, uh, the ESA movements, they have uh, on these chronographs, you're just holding it in now. Just watching it go around. Uh, now we can stop and reset. Right. There we go. But uh, the ESA movements, they actually have five beats per second, Jim, on that chrono. That's right. It's the high pulse rate that sets them apart from everybody else. Five beats per second. And if you actually set, you start your chronograph and really watch it, you can literally see the little, you know, tick, 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 five ticks per second. Uh, it's uh, pretty impressive. And I'm going to recalibrate our minute hand on the green one sitting out here. Oh, no, stop, reset. Why did you do that? There it is right there. You can literally see it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You see that, Jim? Uh, can you do that again? Because that was fascinating. <laughs> well, if you watch that, uh, the chrono second hand, literally, guys, you see, five, as Jim calls it, the high pulse rate, five beats per second on the ESA uh, chronograph movements. All right, here we go. Da -da -da. Anyway, listen, the apocalypse has become our single biggest uh, franchise piece that we have in our entire gallery. We've been uh, doing the Apocalypse. The Apocalypse series started about uh, three years ago. And uh, uh, once it took off here on Shop NBC, you know, many of you have seen the Apocalypse Skeleton and the Armageddon and the XT and uh, the Skeletal Pro. And, you know, now we're, here's the trifecta now with the new By the way, case I have design, recalibrated the, the green. Uh, for those of you at home that you've ever bought, whether it be in a store or mail order or internet or uh, from us, See, see, even it, it was even that way when we did the video of it. See how the minute counter was off there, that sub dial? By a tick, yeah. It was not zeroed up to the 30, see that? Mm -hmm. That does not mean the watch you bought was defective. Look, right. the sample's right here. And if you think I just, here, there are both of the green ones that we own right here. It's very easy. They are user, user recalibrate-able. That's not a real word, but it will be for today. Every quartz chronograph can be recalibrated by you. Don't send it back. It's not defective. Now, my producer Tom, the wise and young Tom, says, I would like to see these straps alive. Well, yeah. we can do that. Is that a good enough angle, or should I That's move That's nice, them? Jim. That's, okay. I'm going to grab the reds for the red. Guys, don't miss this piece. You're going to love it. We're so proud of it. And, you know, the opportunity to bring it here is a today's top value. Uh, you guys know the drill. You know what the top value is all about. It's about bringing new customers to Sterling Original, bringing new people into Shop NBC. If you've never owned a Sterling Original before, this is a fantastic opportunity right here 
to get just a super, super value. When you get it home, you're not going to believe how much of a timepiece you're getting. Yeah, buy the straps. It's an additional, as you see right there, it's an additional charge of 27 bucks, but you've got value pay, $9 value pay. There's your item number, V91385. Do this, and you've got how many different combinations? 12. Oh, my goodness. And if you bought more than one watch, you've got even more. 24. Well, that's if you true. Two. That's true. 36 but, if you bought yeah. three. Yeah, the green with that green strap. Actually, uh, honestly, no. Uh, those numbers would go up uh, almost exponentially because you're not just getting the 12 per watch. Then you're crossing no, over. No, yeah, you're right. And it then you can mix and match this bezel with that strap and that strap with that bezel. Oh, my goodness, it, it boggles the mind <laughs> what you could accomplish <laughs> well, the privacy of your own You know, home. what's going to happen is you're going to find your go-to look or go-to looks, and you're just going to probably settle into one or two looks pretty much. But... I'll tell you what, it's really worth it uh, as far as, you know, having those rubber straps. This watch will fit a goat, too? Oh, go to look. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Don't miss this, guys. You're going to love this piece. And it's the first time we've ever done this case size as well. And I, that's one of the things I'm so happy about. Indeed. Because we went from a 42 all the way up to the XT at 49. And now here we hit it right in the sweet spot here at 45, Jim. Chris, if you like the really big ones and you're really up on the high horology, maybe tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern during watch time with Jim, you might pick up the 52 millimeter Torbion version, possibly. Well, listen, even maybe. if you're into the 52 Torbion, that's great. Be there tomorrow night, but you're going to want this as well. Yeah. I know there's a lot this of... This is your daily wear. The I, Torbion you know, is not a daily wear watch. There's a, uh, Jim pointed it out in the last presentation about the Apocalyptomaniacs. I affectionately call all the guys out there that collect our, apoc our Apocalypse series. The and apocalypse gals. And gals who collect the Apocalypse, you know, the Apocalypse is the Apocalypse Maniacs. Mm -hmm. Well, here it is, man. If you've never owned an Apocalypse, jump in here with the trifecta because this is probably... Not probably, it is. It is absolutely the best buying opportunity or value we've ever offered on any of our apocalypse. I'm going back to the black. I'm sorry. Because the red. it's a today's top value here, guys. So it's very, very exciting. One of our it's our hottest look, our hottest series, one of the hottest designs in the entire watch industry. And I would even go as far as saying one of the landmark designs in the watch industry. This is hot. You, the, the red is hot as fire. It is scorching hot. That Duracoche finish on the And then red I take bezel. it, I push down, I give it a little twist, I give it a little jiggle. Oh, and it popped. And now I want you guys to watch He's this. You're going to the carbon fiber, huh? I'm going to the carbon fiber. My day out at the racetrack, this is the look I'd be doing. I'm telling you, man, that's hot. That is freaking hot. That looks good. <laughs> it's hot. It, I'm sorry, it really yeah. is. The whole package, and by the way, speaking of, of, of the, the whole package, this is how it's going to ship. Now, imagine if you're giving this as a gift. Imagine the ladies out there that are watching going, you know what, my husband, he's been a pretty good dude lately. I think he deserves something nice. This is what you're going to give him. There is bezel number one. There's your watch cleverly hidden underneath, and there is bezel number two. It happens to be the blue. I love the blue. And as we go down... There is bezel number three. All three looks displayed at once. So instantly it's coming at you. When you open it, you go, wow, it's not just a watch. It's three looks in one box. And who wouldn't be excited about that, Larry? Well, you know, Jim, one of the things you should, as you were showing it and the camera was panning down, on that last bezel, which was the brushed stainless steel right there, the brushed stainless steel, uh, that has the black uh, Sterling S screw heads on it. It's got the brush finish, so it looks kind of flat, but actually the edges are the high polish. You see that, Jim? That's right. And the case is high polish as well, so it plays really well with the case, and then you've got the brushed finish on top. And it's a combination finish. Right. There's those Sterling S screw heads, and this one, of course, the stainless steel has the black S screw heads right there. All right, I'm going to throw the red bezel back on there, and we're going to go to the phone lines. We've got John in North Carolina calling in. How are you tonight, John? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, how about you guys? Is this doing John good? from Chapel Hill? Uh, I live over in the Western Mountains. Oh, and, okay. uh, Apparently know, there is the, more than one John in North Carolina. <laughs> okay. Nashville. Hi, John. How are you? I, I'm just uh, calling. I'm really happy because... Um, I've been watching you guys for quite some time, and seeing Sterling come out with a watch that, when you add some straps for 150 bucks, I've got three watches. Actually, if I look at it, I've got six watches. It's amazing. I've never mm -hmm. seen this kind of a setup. 
Yeah, it's it's pretty hot. I mean, we're very excited about it. We're very, uh, you know, we, we've been very anxious to get this. It's been in the works for a long time, uh, and it's taken a while to get it here to air, and it's coming really at the right time, Jim, right? First day of spring. Absolutely. You know, I feel like the year is just now starting for Sterling Original. 2010 is starting right now. Indeed. Because we got a well, lot of Well, I, I bought my first Sterling, uh, Jim, from you uh, about a year ago. Well, thank you. I and appreciate it. Was, it, was, it was one I bought because of the design. It was real classy. It had uh, the blue anodized color to the numbers around the dial with, okay. a, with a black leather strap. And it's just elegant. And the price point is what really caught my eye. Sounds uh, like the know, Saturn I got that home, opened okay. the box, looked at that watch, and to this day, um, it's, one that, it's one of my most favorites. So I'm pretty excited about this apocalypse. Oh, oh I'm great. glad to hear that. And I'm telling you, when you get it, you're going to be wild. You're going to look at this and go, I, I, I should set up another, another 50 bucks because I feel guilty. I should not have gotten this for $118. <laughs> now, whether you really I'm, will I'm, or I'm not. Curious. <laughs> I'm curious about when you change the bezels, is that held in with some sort of a snap lock or a, a well, let me snap show you. ring? We're going to go back to my wrist here, and I'm going to show you. Uh, I showed it a few minutes ago, but it is certainly worth repeating. I'm going to, again, push down and then pop it off of there. What you've got is you have two notches. The notches are where you have to line up in the bezel, and then you turn it that quarter click to lock it in. Then you have these four ball bearings. Those are on springs. Once you've got it locked in, the ball bearings are pushing the bezel up against the locking cam. When it, once it's oh, locked, okay. it's there. So you have to push down. Remember, push down on the bezel and then turn it the quarter click. If you try just doing the turn, it makes it a lot more difficult. Push down, then turn, and you've released it. Well, you know, that, that, that's something that um, it, it's neat that the design locks it in there so it's worry-free. When you put it in right, you know it's in the right way, so you don't have to worry about it coming out. Exactly, because once you've turned the bezel, it will push it up, and uh, it will lock it in place. That's the whole key is that it locks it in there. John, I have to let you go, unfortunately, because we're out of time. But thank you for calling in, and thank you for the excitement. Thank you, guys, and just keep it up. I Thanks, love you John. guys. Indeed. Thank you very much. We're loving you back. All right, folks, we're going to move out of today's top value. Remember, it's only good for one day or while supplies last. Make it yours for $39.42 interest-free per month. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, you know what? Now, the Tuskegee, wait, XL. It's the bomber. It's XL? The, it's the Tuskegee bomber. Okay, this is brand thank new. you. This is brand new. How big is the is is this? Where do you see, Jim? Really? You're, you're gonna die. I haven't I haven't touched it yet. You're gonna die. Oh man, because <laughs> we love the Tuskegee Flyer, the Tuskegee. It's just a, an amazing watch. And whoa, hello, the men's version. Oh. Where do you see this? Jim? A brand new Alpine slalom. I love this new dial. It's cleaner. Where do you it's see it? It's more high tech. Where do you see it? Wait, you're gonna die. I'm gonna freak. You're gonna die. B nine one four five six. Same size. <laughs> No, 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 wait, bigger, 52, 52. Where do you see it, Jim? 44 to 52. Where You've you, man-sized it. Where do you see this, Jim? All right. <laughs> was, was that enough excitement for you there? All right, V91334, the Zephyr. Yay. This is hot too, Jim. I'm going to let you talk. I'm just going to sit here and look pretty. Well, listen, this is uh, this is our Zephyr. Now, we've had this here before, but uh, now, Jim, you know, the Metropolis, we know that, that movement on that piece, that 22-joule movement on the Metropolis that gives you the uh, the retrograde date and the day of the week uh, coming off the small second subdial. So it's an amazing complication if uh, you know the Metropolis. This this exact same movement, but again, look how we packaged it. Uh, this is absolutely... Uh, just amazing watchmaking here, Jim. Take a look. You've got a big retrograde date hand in the center of the dial for your calendar, okay? Then down at the bottom, you have your day of the week, and we've got a wheel that actually is, you know, rotating around, and that's the same subdial that gives you your seconds, your small seconds. Oh, my goodness. And then to read the hours, Jim, it's got one of those types of hands where, you know, it's a two-sided hand, mm -hmm. okay? So, you know, it really is... Uh, you know, it's it's complicated to look at, but it's all about watchmaking, Jim, and it's about the complications. It's about it's like the, a bathroom scale that tells time. It's it's uh, you know you can look at it that way if you want to, but uh, the design elements that really, in my opinion, are fitting to the movement on this piece. Because I have to show you the movement. 
Yeah, the movement is just amazing here, guys. I love this thing. It's it's a big block, oh, too. This, this is big. So there's your movement. Yeah. But, I mean, just think, this thing weighs, it's like a cinder block with a leather strap attached to it. Yeah, it's about 16 millimeters, Jim, on the thickness of the case. And look how this has been done. Yeah, it's integrated. Completely hidden lugs. Mm -hmm. The machine work, ah. Now, I, I do want to pull the crown here. Yeah, you have to read the hours, Jim. And I want you to see how... That large hand is your minute hand, guys, that's going around. Now, there's the hour hand that's got two sides to it, okay? Now, the small hand is pointing to the inner track. So if Jim were to stop the watch, it's between 4 and 5. So here, that's, that would be 5.05. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. That's 5 o'clock, guys. Okay? Now, we want to get to 11 o'clock. Which that, would be the same position, now the but different hand. Exactly. Now it's 11 o'clock. See that? Ah, it's it's, like, a, it's like magic. But, but, Let's go to the phone. Okay. We've got Jorge in Pennsylvania. How are you tonight, Jorge? Hey, Jim. Hey, Larry. How are you guys doing? Good, Jorge. How are you? Good. How's things by you? Okay. Everything's fine. Good. And... Family doing good? How are you? I've called you guys before. I'm the guy that has to watch this shit to my mother's house so that I don't get caught by my wife. <laughs> I remember. Oh, so I got to ask, is, is that still working out for you? <laughs> you remember me, Jim. I do. Is, is that still working out for you? A little deceit goes a long way. It's working. Good for you. Oh, I, I hope just, you don't get busted because that, oh, that's going to be ugly. I just two of them this week, and I brought them home about 11 o'clock at night. You had a prenup, right? All right, so what, what is your latest acquisition? You know, I, I, I like your, uh, your hour top value. Oh, yeah, yeah it's hot. Right. I need to know, what is your favorite one, Jim? Absolutely, hands down, bar none, without a doubt, the red bezel on the black IP. And when, you, and when you swap that out and put carbon fiber on it, uh, it's it's nearly orgasmic. It's, I really like it. I like the black. I like the red. And then the switching to the, the carbon fiber makes it too. I like that. And Larry, your watches are getting better and better all the time. Well, thank you very much, Jorge. You, you seem to be taking it up to another notch every single time I look at your watches. Well, I think that's very fair to say. I, we have been taking it up... Uh, it seems like the last uh, year or so, it's just... Yeah, you guys haven't really rested. It's just been a continual yeah, thing. Get better, and we better, have better, better, so better. much coming. Like I said earlier, I feel like 2010 is starting officially today uh, because I know what's in the pipeline. I know what's coming. And uh, we gotta I go. mean, we're going to high places. Thank you so the, much, the, Jorge. The clock is up. Jorge, thank you so very much. I, I hope the uh, ship into the mom's house works out for you forever, my friend. But uh, you know you're burning the candle at both ends. I am, and it's your fault, Jim. I'm still blaming you. <laughs> That's okay. You feel free to blame me. I have a, a wife hit squad after me as it is. <laughs> All right, but we got to let you go. Thank you again so much. Okay, I'm going to go for that red Thank one, you. Jim. Good for you. I'm really happy for you. That's the choice. Uh, and I, I, I'm happy to put that out there, man. I, I don't like to be biased against just one, but that red, oh, that's the hotness. That's the one to do. All right. Yeah, sure. Uh, V91, I'm sorry, V91113 from last hour. This is the Madman Automatic for $156. The rose sold out? Oh, the I'm sorry, there is rose, but black, there are only 50 remaining. My apologies. I heard it is black only. Uh, black, 50 remaining, and then more in the rose. And I'm telling you, this, this one snuck up on me and bit me. And I, I'm not going to get this out of my head till I buy it. V91459. That is the Gen X retrograde, mm -hmm. the Pro, the bigger one, for $198.91 with a Citizen Miota retrograde day. I'm loving me that blue. All right, folks. You know, you, Larry, you're really bringing it when it comes to these all-black looks. Hey, I'll tell you what. This is. I love the Nautico here. These are two brand new executions, Jim. We've never shown them before. First time ever out of the box right here. All black and black and gold, Jim. This is pretty hot. Mm. This is the ISA GMT uh, alarm uh, movement, Jim. $198. Check this out, guys. Yeah, th this is, you know, you want the, one of the most complex movements out there. This is it. Now, after I, after I model it for you, I'm going to show you the complications and how they work. This is a handsome watch. Uh, Larry, you do the 47. MMs. It's 47 millimeters, Jim. I'll do the INs. Call that just under two inches. 
one and three quarter inches. How about that? Uh, close enough? That works. Mm -hmm. Now, you see how handsome that looks on the wrist with, the, with that, that kind of classic uh, three-link bracelet and whatnot, diver's flip-lock safety clasp. But you're wondering, what are all these hands and how do I operate them? Well, it's very simple. First off, you've got your calendar here, very simple. Then you have your day of the week here, also very simple. But you're still looking going, Jim, you're not answering my question. I got a lot of hands to account for here. One is going to be a GMT. All you need to do, you depress the lower pusher for about two seconds. You're going to hear it beep. Then you're going to let go and depress it again. Watch. It'll beep. I release and I push again. Now you'll notice that hand is the longest hand on the dial. Why? Because it's pointing actually to the numbers on the bezel. Correct. Which are your 24-hour indications. Mm -hmm. That is your GMT secondary time zone hand. If you would like to set your alarm hand, you pull the crown one single click and you turn it. In one direction changes the date, in the other moves the smaller red hand. Why is it shorter? Because it's not pointing to the bezel, it's pointing to the regular hour markers because it works on a 12 hour scale. If you set this to three, it cannot delineate between 3 a.m. and 3 p.m. It is just the next time the hands come across three, the alarm will be activated. Now. You want to turn on the alarm? Very simple. One press of this top pusher will do two things. First, it's going to check the power reserve on the battery. Once it's done that, it will display it for about three seconds. It will then go to the alarm on. I hit it. It's checking full battery. It goes to on by itself. Come on. It'll go. Oh, you know what? We haven't... Uh... The crown was out. It wasn't. It's been uncalibrated. My apologies. Once I recalibrate this, which you know what, I'm, I think I can just do it right here. No, oh, <laughs> I lost my. And there it goes. Okay, I'm going to recalibrate this. Where is the on and off? I can't see it. My monitor is way too far away. And also, you've got the. Uh... Oh, thank you, Garrett. Uh, on would be here, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn that. Grr. Anyway, I have to recalibrate it. You see, it's easy to do. But it will do both. It will tell you your power reserve, then it will go to alarm on, then you hit it again to turn it off. Very, very simple. Now, V91464, the other color choice, this is the triple black. The other color choice is the black and, and gold. Yeah. You know, oh. one of the things I, I, I dig about this piece, you know, you see the design on the dial, Jim. Well, there's a nice bracelet shot there, guys. See, that's, it's that, 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 sh that, Polish. Stark contrast. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to say stark or sharp. I know it could have been shark mm -hmm. a second ago. Okay. But uh, you take a look at that dial right there, and mm. you know you see that that up at twelve and eight o'clock. Those are actually Roman numerals, Jim. They are. You see the X one one for twelve, and, and it looks like just you know rays coming out there. But that's actually a V I I I. That's the Roman numeral eight there, Jim. It is. Is that hot? It is hot. You know, and also the pushers actually have a Duracoche finish on the pushers, Jim. That's I right, because you went black and, and uh, red there, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, and it's they're finished with Duracoche treatment. So uh, I told you we're doing more and more of that. Am I, am I mispronouncing it? It's Duracoche? C-O-U-C-H-E. Dura, C-O-U-C-H-E. Duracoche. Okay, see, I've been saying Duracoat, and I apologize, Well, you know, when we came and we did the... Because that's a, like a firearm right, when finish. When we did the... Uh, the uh, Alpine Challenge, I was calling it Duracoat, and then, you know, uh, I actually got corrected on that. But uh, I'll tell you, the uh, Nautico Gym, this is from our uh, water sports collection, our Regatta series. And, uh, you know, we brought out the first two colors, like you pointed out, Jim. We had that kind of red, white, and blue execution that you did the beautiful photography on. And, and we also had the brown, you know, the brown... Uh, brown. Yeah, mm. kind of a maroon version. And now here's the two brand new black ones that have never been seen before, all black and black I and gold. I kind of look at the brown as number two. I like I like the uh, I like the black. Mm -hmm. Look at the case back. Now this is the same case back that was on the original as well. That's right. And uh, this like a little flame, the 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 fire, <laughs> fire. Yeah. I have no idea what accent that was. But you notice you said it with two syllables, Jim. Fire. The roof, the roof. All right. You made fire into the two-syllable word. Yeah, I did, indeed, because I'm talented like that. I saw that. that. Uh, I roll in this manner. 
V91464. Uh, yours to be had for $198.81. And they've got three value pays as well. And that is part of this wonderful little event that we have going on here uh, that marks the beginning of spring. Uh, as all the snow thaws, the value pays uh, were, were hidden underneath, apparently, and we're just now finding them. And <laughs> they guaranteed minimum of three value pays or more. And that's not just on the on-air items. It's also for the items that are online. That means, yeah, if you want to buy that piece of exercise equipment, that Suzanne Summers Face Master, Larry's amazing uh, nautical watch, an Invicta, you want to buy a, a, a Gems on Vogue item, whatever. Everything is going to have at least three value pays. So now is the time to shop. Because value pays, you know, they're like, they're like magical little trolls. Uh, and what I mean by that is they just, you know, you're chasing them. You're running around looking for them. The one day they spring up and they're everywhere. Next day, you can't find them. They just disappear. Those darn little trolls. So think of Very it that nice. way. And uh, don't forget, happiness is only a value pay away. You know, we've been doing a little bit more on the bracelet watches, Jim. You know, a little less rubber, a little more steel. Yeah. We're, uh, by by we're, consumer demand, Well, really. we're still doing the rubber straps, the leathers, but we're actually right. just incorporating more bracelets now. And, you know, like you say, consumer demand. A lot of people have been asking for it. And here's our signature, uh, you know, diver slip lock safety clasp. And one of the things we try to do most of the time is to have the push buttons. We don't always have them, but it's a nice added touch. more times than not, you're going to find the... Our buckles will have the push buttons like this, and I think it's a nice touch. Let's go to the phones. We're going to speak to uh, Kathy in Nevada. How are you tonight, Kathy? Hi, Jim. Nice to see you back. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for staying up late with us tonight. Oh, here it's early. It's only uh, 10 o'clock. This is true, but you know what? For a lot of people, that's late. You never know. Say hey to Larry. Yes, I wanted to say hello to Larry and thank him for the best service he gave on my husband's watch. Aww. Hi, Kathy. To him on the 25th. He got it the 27th and he got it right back to us. Brand new watch. It, I really want to compliment you on your service. Thank you so much, Kathy. It's, I always enjoy hearing that. Thank you. And we got that red one tonight. Good for you. What a great choice. With about the changes, you know. Yeah, the, the today's top value. Yep, that's what we got today. Yeah, there it is. Uh -huh. Oh, that red is so sexy. I'm telling you. It looks it. Oh. It looks it. You better it's watch out. The women are going to be chasing after your man when he's walking around town wearing that. Oh, I doubt that because I'm usually <laughs> right next to him. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. She saved it at the end. Yep. All right. You two have a wonderful evening. I'm glad I got a chance to speak to you. Thank you Us very too. much, Kathy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. Bye-bye. What a delight she was. Absolutely. And she's not worried about her man. Not at all. She's walking right next to him. That's right. <laughs> she's, she's, she's beating him off with a stick is what she's doing. Every woman that comes near him, she's just belting him straight in the face. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa! Whoa! I told you. Whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not reacting to the item on the screen. I apologize. I told you. Uh, how about 14 karat white gold with just under a third of a carat of blue and white di blue and white diamonds? Oh my goodness! I didn't think you could get blue diamonds for a price like that. You know what? If you tune in at 10 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. 10 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, 10 a.m. tomorrow, you're not going to see this. You're probably going to see, like, exercise equipment. Uh, 10 p.m. tomorrow, however, you will find that ring. You will find gem treasures. I'm actually shocked. I'm sorry. You, you know gemstones. Blue diamonds for well, 200 bucks? that's amazing, of that course. No they're, sense. they're irradiated blue diamonds, but uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, that's a fantastic opportunity right there. And, by the way, this is what I was reacting to a second ago when this was dropped in my lap. This is what the Tuskegee should have always been. This is 49, 50 millimeters. I think it's 52, Jim. It's really? Is it 52? Oh, Here. my dear goodness. That's, the you know, a healthy heap and a stainless steel. Yeah, I don't, wow. You're right, 52 millimeters. Yeah. It is an automatic. I want to show you that. I have to put this, no. We call this, this the, the Tuskegee wrist. Bomber, and, uh, you know, maybe we didn't get the, the name uh, into the... Uh, into the database in time for them to get on the graphics. Larry. I don't know, but this is the uh, Tuskegee. What? This is like watch number five. I have to go home and order now. Yeah, You're the, killing the, me. You know what? It's the Tuskegee. But look at the price, though. Can wait, I wait, hold on. Uh, hold I know. On. If you look at the price, it's actually, if you're sitting there going, yeah. oh, there's only three or four I want, yeah. anybody can afford this. Jim, 
You know, it's actually less money than the Flyer, which makes no sense at all. None. The Flyer was was a up, the original Tuskegee was 40. Then we came out with the yep. Tuskegee Flyer, which was 44. Yep. Now the Tuskegee Bomber is at 52. Okay. Oh man. Now, guys. Um, I like it's this. mechanical automatic. All the Tuskegee's in the line have been, you know, mechanical automatics. But here's one thing I want to point out. And is, a lot of loom. Yeah, well. Bright loom. You know, the, the, to me, the loom is secondary as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Just, just my opinion, you know. Uh, to me, it's, a, it's almost like a fashion statement because, yeah, it's a great knockaround watch. It's got that kind of leather bomber jacket style mm -hmm. of strap, as you can see right here on that brown. I love that brown strap. But... Uh, what I was going to point out, we have a, a, a girl in our office. She's on the administrative side. She probably weighs, you know, 92 pounds dripping wet, you know? She's a little tiny thing, right? And what I'm saying is she, I, I, I couldn't believe the size of this watch. It's so big. So I, I, almost as a joke, I came over to show it to her. And she put it on her wrist, and she said, I like it. And you know what? It looked, it's like a fashion statement. She put it on like a fashion statement. I'm not kidding you, Jim. I, I, I kid you not. It's like this big honking clock on the wrist. Check this out, guys. I love I'm telling this you, look. there are some women this out there. Is hot. There are some women out there, Jim, that like to wear these huge, gigantic. Just how do you feel about that? Would you wear it? Something this big? Yeah, because you're, you're petite, you know, and, and, and it, a watch this big is going to look big. Look at but that, guys. You probably, you probably wouldn't do it. She doesn't wear a lot of watches. So, uh, you, who asked you? No. <laughs> v nine one four six two. Trying to get a female perspective because I have that, no female you, model tonight. So. Jim, you notice that kind of little diamond shape on the second hand? Did you see that? You know, I'll, I'll be Watch perfectly it. honest with you. I have completely removed myself as show host. <laughs> and I, I am consumer right now, and I'm, I'm looking at this trying to figure out which one I'm going to buy. Yeah. Do I want the black dial with the brown strap, which is a really hot color combo, or, the or do I want the all black with this very unique teal? And it is. It's not green. It's, it's not blue. Yeah. It is a true teal, which is making me kind of lean more towards that because I have black dial, brown strap, and, and big watches like this. This teal is unique. I would have to buy more shirts so I have something to match it with. I don't own a single teal shirt in my collection. Uh, this, you know what? Look at that. For 83 bucks, who can't do this? $27 value look, pay? Look just do that, it. On that second hand, Jim, you see right in the middle of it, it's, it looks like a little, you know, jet or something like that. You see it right yeah, there? Like, like a little a, diamond. Like a little diamond right little there. little diamond. You see, I like, you I, you see, you I, see I like this one, Jim. I mean, they're both great, but I like this one here because the brown strap with that stitching is kind of an ecru stitching. Gosh. Or a French vanilla, you know, kind of an ecru or French yeah, vanilla yeah, stitching. No, no, right I agree. There. It's pretty hot. It goes with those numerals. I'm just mesmerized at how cool this is and how cheap it is. Yeah. Because you know what? The flyer, which was 44 millimeters, still a great watch, yeah. was like, what, 99? Somewhere around there? This is even bigger, it's more impressive, and it's 8350. It's yep. a topsy-turvy world, my friends. Nothing makes any sense. I would say just do it before somebody figures out it's a mistake. I'm not <laughs> saying it is, but it, no. it really is one of those things where you just got to go, uh, somebody wasn't really using the calculator right. Maybe the abacus is broken. I don't know, but the, the price is what it is. Grab it while you can. It's a I big like that. I, I'm, I'm thinking the teal. I'm thinking the black and teal. I knew when you saw it, you were going to die. You know, it's, I really, it's a simple, subtle, classic military aviator look yeah. that will never go out of style. And it's just big enough where it doesn't look like a pie plate on your wrist, but it does have a presence. It does have a look that people are going to look at it and go, wow, hey, that's kind of cool. And they're going to see it from across the room. Mm -hmm. They will follow you. Uh, if you're not the kind, if you're kind of a wallflower, these are not the kind of watches you want to be wearing. If you don't mind being engaged every now and then, and somebody going, hey, what is it on your wrist? What, what the dealio? Uh, give them the 411. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm not young enough to, to pull off that kind of Well, you know, Jim, anymore. when we made this piece, it, it, it's not like uh, we, we felt like we were taking chances here. I mean, this series has been a Big, big, you know, the Tuskegee now for about over three years now has been a big seller for us. So, uh, it's just being snatched out of my hands with 20 seconds left on the clock. It's like, you're not going to show now. that anymore. Uh, V91462, the Tuskegee Bomber. X, X, I, I'm being required to say Tuskegee XL.
Okay. You take that up with management, sir. <laughs> Three value pays. Oh. Wow, I told you we were going to experience the magic. You ready to experience the magic? Let's do it. All right. The Metropolis. We're going to experience the magic together. This watch, it's not just about how beautiful the watch is, because it is. And it does have a dominating presence on the wrist because it's big. This will wear as if you're wearing a 48, 49 millimeter watch any day of the week. But the magic, first off, it is a mechanical automatic. So again, no batteries, not a quartz. Larry, 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 there's a lot going on here that at first glance, yeah. you may not catch, but the more you look, you go, wait a second. Right. I'm watching a disc move with one indication that's not moving, other indications that are. Right. There's a retrograde scale. Larry, what is going on? I've only got two minutes to tell. Well, them. once again, it's that same movement we just saw in the Zephyr, but this is that 22 joule mechanical automatic with day and date, but it's a retrograde date in the center of the dial, and then down there off the small seconds, off the same can of pinion that's giving you small seconds, you're getting the day of the week. Now, it's not just a pointer hand for the small seconds. What you've got you actually have, it's a it's an acrylic dial plate is what it is. It's like a wheel. I try and give and you a little. Yeah, there it is. And you see the little pointer hand down there? It's like 60 right there. That stays stationary. And there's your seconds now as it as the dial is rotating around. The wheel That's is, brilliant, by the way. I it, just have to say. It really is. And you see there's so many different ways you can do it. Uh, and then you've got your day of the week off the same can of pinion, which is amazing. Now, and then, this hand. This is your retrograde date hand. And again, it's coming off the same can opinion as your hours and minutes. And a lot of times when you see a retrograde date hand, it's off on a separate arc yeah. or somewhere off the main, uh, the main can opinion. It's never part of the main can opinion. Right. So here it is now in the wait, center. A can opinion is that axis there. That pole that sticks up through the dial that the hands are, are attached to. Yeah, so, it, you know, the, the watchmaking on this movement is just fantastic. So now you have to do something special with packaging it and displaying it and designing it. And I think we've hit the mark here with the Metropolis. It's such an unusual <clears throat> way to, to just display these fantastic complications. This is being done, guys, off a mechanical automatic. This is not a quartz movement, guys, uh -huh. uh, with a computer chip. This is uh, just watchmaking brilliance is what this now, is. Now, this shares, I mean, and this, then there's this is a the, metropolis, so it shares in the series of the Mad Men yes. and all those wonderful big, beefy, square, uh, rectangular watches. Absolutely. By the way, I didn't tell you, but it has a dual deployant push-button clasp on a rubber strap that you do need to snip in order to... Uh, Here's the new uh, Alpine, size. Jim. Oh my God, really? I told you, you're gonna you die. You are killing me. I told you, Jim. Anyway, here, guys, Jeez. this is the ladies Alpine Slalom, Jim, that you see here on the screen. They're all black PVD cases, and I now can't this is wait that, to that's get the into, ladies version. That's the blue and the magenta for the ladies on the black PVD. But now we're gonna get into the new uh, Alpine for the men. Check this out, the Alpine Slalom, Jim. Oh man. You guys should have just seen Jim's face when he just picked it up. I told him he was going to die when he saw this. Check this out, Jim. Do you realize how immensely popular the 44 millimeter Alpine yeah. is? To go Thousands. to a what size? 52? I, I, I believe it's 52. We can double check it. Here. Watch the... Oh, oh! Yeah. All right, let me... Uh, now, now, it. now, listen, guys. Uh, you know, again, if you're going to have... I believe, you know, seven and a half or lower, Don't I, the strap's not gonna work. Oh no, you know what? I'm gonna tell you this right now. You gotta, if you're under seven and three quarter inch wrist, you are not gonna wear this watch. It is for a bigger wrist. wrist. Yeah. Flat out, you are absolutely correct. Yeah, because we don't wanna get into I am that on whole the thing. last hole. Yeah, we don't wanna get into that situation we had before, but uh, so here it is, you know, make sure, yeah. Make sure that you know you got a, at least a seven and three quarter wrist size if you're going to buy this, because otherwise the strap's not going to work on it. This looks more upscale with the new skeletonization. It's a beautiful the Roman numerals. Yeah, you know we had that propeller style faceplate oh, on the Alpine, which is so you know popular. We had to you know change it up a little bit. You still have the cigar style hands. Wait, Larry. Yeah. Larry, watch what's about to happen. Well, you know the loom, Jim. Come on. Oh, look. Yeah, yeah, look. It's like a Christmas tree. Guys. Oh. It, it, it lights up like a Christmas tree, you know. The second you get this watch, go into the darkest room in your house and play it's with it. It's hot. It's really hot. That's going to freak you out. Well, charge under light for a minute and then go play with it in the dark. V91456. So, again, 52-millimeter case, mechanical automatic movement. <laughs> wow. I can't see without my glasses. What? Yeah, 52. Let's go to the phone calls. Uh, Dan in Oregon, how are you tonight, Dan? Dan? 
Oh, Dan. Are you there, Dan? Somebody nudge Dan. He's live on TV. Okay. You know, we're not going to talk to Dan. We're going to switch on. I want to go straight on over to Don. We'll go from Dan to Don. Don's in California. That's pretty close to Oregon. How are you, Don? Hey, Jim. How's Game things? Of inches, skeleton. How you doing, buddy? This <laughs> is your friend Don from San Diego. Hello, Don. Uh, you got me. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for calling in, man. How's things? Oh, Jim, I'm disappointed. Man, I thought you were going to look like Libby after you came out of your surgery or Katina or maybe <laughs> somebody else, but you look like Jim Skelton, dude. What's I, up? I know, I know that is disappointing. I came out looking like myself. I um, know. Hey, yeah. and there he is, my favorite watch guy, uh, Larry Megan, the man with two first names. I love you to death, Larry. <laughs> Thank you, Don. You know, I, had, I, I love your Sterling watches, and I think I own just about every watch of yours that it has the word Ozzy in it. You're just Oh, like, wow. And I bought the uh, our top value tonight in red because Jim was playing with it so much. Whenever Jim plays with it, I buy it. So you know, that's the way <laughs> that could be dangerous if you're hanging out with me on my off time. All right, uh, I'll, so I'll tell you, I'd, I'd like to, but that's a different story. But I don't <laughs> roll that way, so you're safe. I was going somewhere else entirely, but thank you for that. Uh, well, Jim, you know, you're, you're talking about the, the teal shirt. You know, I yeah. love the shirt that you have right on uh, on right now because I'd like to like panel my bathroom in that shirt that's so cool hey man oh. i'm telling you you accent any shirt with velvet the lady's going to come running to you because they want to touch it i remember that it. I mean, they, they like, always want to tell me that they want to touch it so it's way cool all right then <laughs> i'm sorry so don let me I'll ask you this topic here um yeah. what i wanted to say larry is uh, i only recently joined the uh, sterling nation mm -hmm. and, uh, i love my aussies and i bought the otv tonight and I'm getting ready to pull the trigger on this Alpine Slalom because it's just a beautiful watch. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's pretty hot. I, again, I hope you have a, a wrist size that uh, can accommodate. Well, if I don't, I can always I just stick a piece of styrofoam under it and nobody will know. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's like stuffing socks in the, in the pants or whatever if you have to. I mean, Jim knows about that, so but I won't talk more about that. But, uh, Larry, I, like I said, I just recently joined the Sterling Nation. Love everything that you do. I'm getting addicted to your watches. I've got about 200 watches in my collection, so it's a, it's a small collection. But Nothing I, small uh, about that, love. Don. I'm sorry? There's nothing small about 200 watches. That's a, that's a hefty collection you've got there. Well, I mean, to some people, I think Jim's got like a 40,000 watch collection, <laughs> so maybe so. But No, actually, um, now I have less than you. Really? I Just trimmed it back. Me. But, you know, we all rotate through. We, we buy, we sell, we trade, and we rotate through. And you get to the point where you go, you know what? Well, what I wore a lot five, six, seven, ten years ago, 40 millimeter, I don't anymore. So you end up getting rid of a lot of stuff. And, you know, I'm in the middle of kind of repopulating. My happy number, honestly, now is about 165 to 180. Anything beyond that, I find I don't wear a lot of them, and I can't justify it anymore. But, you know, everybody's in different phases of collecting or collect for different reasons. And that's what I think is so great about this obsession well i didn't know that be i mean i thought i pictured the skeleton household as having like whole you know wall units full of watches and winders and everything so well I, I do i mean i have a lot of winders i actually used to have one entire room dedicated to nothing but watches and my wife says you know what? it's getting crazy go through there and see what are you actually wearing and when i got to the point where i was pulling out watches that i go you know what i haven't worn this since we got married three years ago she goes yeah come on really so, you know, it, it works out that way for some people. That's true. She who must be obeyed is kind of the guide around here, too. And uh -huh. uh, I just bought a six-watch winder, and I was told that's the last winder you're going to get. And my answer was, you know, yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah, it's her world. We just, we just share it. Absolutely. I'm a retired Navy diver, and I thought I was hot stuff. But, no, <laughs> she who must be obeyed is the admiral. So. <laughs> All right, my friend, we got to cut you loose. We got to go. Uh, Don, thank you again so much thank for you, calling. Don. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Larry. Good right. Much love Good to you, Don. Thank you. All right, so I know we have to move on. When we do that, I think we have what? We have one or two more watches this hour. One more. When we get to that, we're going to clear out the phone lines, take a few more calls. If you want the new Alpine Slalom, you got to do it now. $41.56. Oh, can I? Can I squeeze in one more on this item? Let's do it. John from Michigan. Let's get John's thoughts. John, how are you tonight? Hey, I'm good. I'm glad to see you back, man. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I picked up the uh, Tuskegee, the brown. Sure. And, good yeah, choice. You know what? The last two times I got on the computer to look uh, at your schedule, I got lucky because I got the, 
I got another uh, watch uh, that was very difficult to get. It was constantly selling out, and then this a vintage style is exactly what I was looking for, and mm-hmm. uh, there it is. And uh, I've just started really collecting since October, and uh, I haven't. This is my first Sterling, and uh, I don't think it's going to be my last. You guys, are, you know, doing it for me again, so. Well, yeah, I'm telling you, man, when you get that watch, you're going to go, now I know why Jim was doing backflips. Yeah, it looks good. I like the brown, the brown strap. It's, I've got a couple others with black, uh, you know, silver tone with black straps. Mm-hmm. And uh, the brown is what I, exactly what I was looking for, and this looks, this looks good. Yeah, there's such a, a great professional look to a military-style watch. It's a black dial with a brown leather strap. Again, we, we all know who kind of really kind of pioneered that trend. I mean, nobody can really own it, but who really kind of right. pioneered that look? And, you know, you're starting at four, five, six thousand dollars 6000 and right. it really is an impressive color combination. And it's funny how you could take one watch and just change one little thing like a strap color and really breathe a whole new life into it. And, and they did that, and we thank them, and it's working out Absolutely. well for some of the other brands, yeah. Absolutely. And, uh, Larry, you're doing a good job, and I'm getting more and more interested in your stuff. Like I said, I just started uh, collecting. I've uh, not got a whole bunch of watches, but I've got, you know, probably more than 10 since October. And uh, I'm, I'm looking at your stuff, brother. Well, thank you very much, John. I really appreciate it. Okay. I think you're going to like that uh, Tuskegee. Thank yeah. you. John, enjoy sure it. I will. Thank you so much for waiting uh, so patiently on the phone to talk with us. We appreciate it. Oh, yeah, it. no problem. Have All right, a good, good night. One. All right. Yeah, did we? We had a clock came in. We got to go. V91456. The mesh stainless steel bracelet does have a standard buckle. You must be a minimum of seven and three quarter inch wrist to wear it. There is no alternative to sizing it. That's just the way it is. Now, if you have a somewhat daintier wrist, it's got to be a female wrist, guys. You're not going to pull this off because this is only maybe a what 34. I think it's uh, yeah. I think I think it is 34. I think you just nailed it, Jim. Looks like a 34 to mine eyes. You I never think, know. I think I could it's 34. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to caliper it just to make sure. Yeah, go 10 to 4 on that one. Uh, believe it or not, 35. 35, I was a millimeter okay. Off. So you choose either blue or magenta. It's a 35 millimeter case. The, one of the neat things about this is the mesh is a very tight, very fine woven mesh. Uh, much different than the mesh that's used on the men's version. It's, a, it's almost like a silky, smooth kind of version on here. I like that. Yeah, and it has all the same characteristics as the, uh, as the Alpine that's been so, so popular. I mean, you see it's got the domed crystal, got the scalloped edges on the side of the case, got the cigar-style hands, and this is the new version here, uh, you know, with the uh, kind of skeletonized, uh, you know, propeller uh, here in the dial here. So, and, and, and these two executions, I mean, right here, you have the, you know, with the blue... It's kind of an electric honest, blue. You, you need to make this in the men's, the but blue the black, against black IP eh, with could, the blue. It could be happening soon. It's going to be hot. All right, you know, we're You know, the Alpine's one of our biggest uh, hits we have. We so. kind of ran over with the phone calls. So That's we, cool. I, I, I apologize to the ladies. We didn't get a chance to really give you a fair shake on this. I think you should definitely pick it up. It's $124. It's a true mechanical automatic and a true lady size. 35 millimeter. Great presence on the wrist, but not overbearing in any way. Blue or magenta. We are going to move on and take a little bit of a break. We are going to come back today to today's top value. And yeah, if the red is, that's the one to go for. But you know what? The other two are great, too. V91400. Get in line now. It's going to get hot in here. Gem Treasures customers are always looking for the hottest styles and the newest looks, and they want to be in the trends at the beginning. Join Chuck Clemency as he presents an exciting collection to you, ready for spring. From trendy colored stones to your classic favorites, each item is carefully chosen to ensure high quality and exceptional design at an affordable price. Join me, Chuck Clemency, for Gem Treasures on Shop NBC. The classic tradition of coin collecting only with Coin Shop. Celebrating the 8th anniversary with early release gold and silver eagles. Morgan Dollars. 
commemorative silver dollars, and more. It's time to take home your very own piece of living history. Every coin tells the story. Find yours during the 8th anniversary of Coin Shop here on Shop NBC. We have a lot of fun with MYC too. <laughs> These dolls are bigger, they're bolder, they're more fashion forward, and most of all, they're affordable. MYC2 is genuine gemstone jewelry set in sterling silver, bathed in pure platinum or 18 karat gold. Enjoy a special presentation of exciting new designs with exotic gemstones. It's the best thing to happen to jewelry. NYC2, right here on Shop NBC. It's smart, it's sensible, it's ad and safe shipping. The premium way to shop NBC with confidence. Now, when ordering multiple items, pay only one full shipping rate with your order. The rest of your items ship at 50% off regular shipping and handling. That's right, fill up your shopping cart with anything that Shop NBC has to offer and save big time on shipping. You spend time shopping and we'll take care of the rest. Be good to yourself. It's the premium way we exceed all your expectations. It's Shop NBC with confidence. You know what? It's a big day here at Shop NBC. Why? Because Larry's here. That's right. Larry brings the sunshine with him. That's what he does best. And it is uh, spring fever here in Minnesota, and we'd like to share that with everyone at home, if we may, for a wonderful event we call da -da -da -da, Spring Fever. Yeah, I know, creative. And we've got three or more value pays on everything on air and online. That means you want to go buy a Serta mattress, you want to buy a Sterling watch, you want to buy... I, what, you know, if you want to, whatever. If we have a bronze giraffe, you can buy that on three value pays or more. And we might actually have a bronze giraffe. You just never know. And V91419 is uh, your first item that you could pick up this hour. The Gen X Sport. Is this a limited edition? I don't remember being a limited edition. No, it's not limited. It's not a limited edition. So our apologies for that mistake. We're going to take care of that. $169.75. Five. Five value pays. Man, that's like walking out of your house, seeing a black cat run in front of you as you're walking under a ladder, tripping over a leprechaun. The kind of luck that you'd have to get to get five value pays. <laughs> And V91337, the World Traveler. By the way, I've never seen this in Black IP. Didn't even know it existed. And you guys get a shot at it right here, right now. Together, you and me. And Larry, as he joins the party, right about now. Four double zero. This is your top value for today. What do we mean by that? Well, it's only good for one day today, Saturday. Wait, no, <laughs> today's Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, uh, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. $118.27, three value pays at $39.42, get you a 45 millimeter case, three, count them, one, two, three, interchangeable bezels. You go from the Duracoche bezel in red, green, or blue. Swap it out the carbon fiber bezel. Oh yeah, yeah, that's how we roll, or we roll in this manner. And over into a stainless steel brush bezel with the black sterling S screws, all on a beautiful, attractive leather strap. Right now, the man to my right, your left, Mr. Larry Megan, he is the president of North American Operations for Sterling Original. Well, Jim, hey, listen, it's been great, and uh, the today's top value has been, you know, just rocking, and here we go. You know, we're, we came loaded for bear, and, you know, uh, hopefully it'll last all throughout the day tomorrow, but uh, we're off to a good start so far. Now, the magic within this is not just the Swiss ISA uh, 8172, day, date, smoothly sweeping chronographic. No, 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 not just that, and that is a great thing for the accuracy, for the reliability, but the magic rests within this interchangeable system. Now you see how easy that was for me to do. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, Jim is a paid professional. It may be entirely different when I get home. No, 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 no. But the trick is, 
Because the first time I was playing with it, I wasn't doing it right either. And I'm here to teach you how to do it right. What you need to do, you don't just twist. Larry, you don't just twist. Okay. You push down, and this releases <laughs> the lock, okay? I'm sorry, I didn't realize you guys were going to a close-up. It releases that lock. So I push down, and then I turn a quarter turn. It won't turn anymore. And then the four ball bearings that are spring-loaded will push up and allow you to change it. Now I take the notches. You see the notches in the bezel there? To those alignment notches, I drop it in, push down, and I lock back. Now what they're doing, now that I've turned it, where those notches are no longer aligned, those four ball bearings that are spring-loaded are pushing up on the bezel and keeping it locked in place. It's not gonna go nowhere. I can do this all day. It's not going anywhere. Right. But again, push down, yeah. turn a quarter click, pops right off, and I'm going back to what is kind of turning into my favorite look of the lot. <gasps> Remember, you have to buy the red if you would like the black IP case. Correct, the, the red uh, option is the one that gives you the black case. And again, this is a new case size for the Apocalypse, guys. Uh, I don't care how many Apocalypse you own, uh, how many different versions of it, you don't have this case size. This is the new 45 millimeter case. It's right in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect size, uh, kind of for. You the know, red's kind of smoking, though, isn't it? I just love looking the at the red. red. I love the red, Jim. I, you know, I think the red is just, like you say, it's smoking hot. And it's not a color combination that you really often see in the industry black and red. You yeah, might see black and blue, a few other but red really is not a color you see often in an all black watch. It's pretty hot. They will probably have to do more with it now, I think, because you're right. I it do absolutely too. looks hot. But and there are all three for you. You could buy the blue, which is a blue uh, blue bezel, on a silver tone dial, which is a very clean, classic, everyday look, especially if you're a blue jeans guy uh, like I am. And then you've also got the green. I'm just going to kind of switch things up here. Whoa. And, and you, you know something else that really is a first, Jim? This that was very really, ninja-like. This is really the first time, and of all the 10 or 11 different Apocalypse models that we've come out with, that we've actually done it on a leather strap. If you stop and think about that, we've done bracelets and we've done rubber straps, but we really have never done it on a leather strap. Now, there was one version that had a limited edition, the Diamond Armageddon. The Diamond, yes. But that was, that was alligator. That was alligator, yeah. That was alligator. But other it was than, way up there. Yeah, but other than that one piece, a limited edition of 100 units, okay, that was it. That was on uh, Alligator. This is the first time we've ever done an apocalypse our, on a leather strap. Our producer enjoys our, our joyful banter. Oh, really? Yes, he does. Okay. All right, you know, let's, uh, uh, hey, let's go to the phone. Can we do that? Is that a, do we have the technology? As I understand it, we do. We're going to talk to Paul all the way out in California. How are you tonight, Paul? Hello, yeah, Paul. Larry. Hey. How's it going, man? There you are. How's things? Hey, how you doing? Good, Paul. Welcome back. Uh, thank you so very much. I appreciate it. What uh, did you pick up today's top value? That um, no, I picked up the uh, Metropolitan XL. What are it, you kidding me? Eighty-three dollars and fifty cents. Is that not a crazy price? That's oh, the please. Tuskegee, yeah. The Tuskegee. Yeah, the Tuskegee XL. Yeah, I, I'm. I did you go for the up. teal? What's that? Did you do the teal? Yeah, I got the teal and black. Good for you, because I, I really think I'm leaning in that direction. And you know what? I think you, you've, you've confirmed it for me, Paul. I'm going to follow in Paul's footsteps. That, 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 that watch is hot. It is. And it's unique. Yeah. It's unique. And then I also picked up the, um, the Metropolis. Oh, the Metropolis. Okay. Yeah, you're going to love that piece, too. That's a big piece. So what is it about Sterling that would that would uh, make you purchase two watches in one single night? Because there are people that will buy, like, one watch a year or one watch every 10 years. You're here buying two watches from the same brand uh, in the same two or three hours. It's actually my first two Sterling. Wow. Well, you're going to be impressed. I hope. And, uh, you should be. Yeah, my first two. And... Um, I can't wait to get them. They just look like works of, works of art. I mean, they are. Really and the cool thing is, you bought two like, different, okay. totally different looks. You've got a great casual wear watch, and you got a really great stepping out watch in that Metropolis. Yeah, and um, I've started collecting watches in no November, and I'm already up to 18. Wow. That's fantastic. I, I got to tell you, thank you, thank you, thank you. November, not very long ago to get up to 18 watches. That's, that's quite, a, quite a lot. I'm assuming you bought most of those uh, from us here at Shop NBC then? Yes, sir. 
Yeah. And what is it that gives you the confidence shopping with Shop NBC to come back, you know, 16, 17 times after getting that initial purchase? Um, I was a little skeptical at the beginning because of the pricing. I was like, you see the retail price, and then you look at the price, and you'd be like, wait, something's wrong here. Yeah, that's so a I big differential. I pull the trigger and, and uh, gave it a shot, and hey, it is what it is, you know? And we lived up to your expectation. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Well, I, I got to tell you, Paul, it's been a, a great pleasure talking to you. Thank you from me to you uh, as you being a newer viewer and a newer collector and already up to 18 watches. It's just going to get better from here. And I invite you, please, if you have not done so already, and you'll get a chance to, to really kind of meet Larry offline as well if you do this, uh, join over at my forum over at watchgeeks.net. we got a community of 22,000 people just like you and me that love watches. Larry participates. He answers questions. And I'd love to hear from you once you receive your your first two sterlings yeah i can't wait to get them and i also picked up two watchtowers <laughs> oh my goodness so, you well, so welcome you're, you're preparing yourself welcome aboard to sterling nation paul thanks larry thanks a lot okay it's nice talking to you guys all right take all right care paul now. we're gonna we're gonna cut you loose my friend but thank uh thank you and please i invite you to call back uh anytime again in the future Wow, November he starts, 18. he's up to 18 watches. Yeah. Tonight buying his first two Sterlings. Yep. Sight unseen, buying two from the same brand. Uh, I'm really glad that he had that, uh, that confidence in, in Shop mm -hmm. NBC and, and the brands that we carry to do that. And you know what? It, a lot of it has to do with your integrity as well. You're well, a fan favorite. When, when it, whenever Sterling's going back in time, it's never, you never hear, hey, cool, Sterling's going back. It's, hey, cool, Larry's coming back. Well, I appreciate you are, that. You are the brand at this point. Well, I, I appreciate that. They should put that. your face on the box. <laughs> listen, Forget Max. Listen, I appreciate that. But you know what? I'm so proud of the watches, Jim. You know, I'm a watch fan, too. And, uh, you know, I, I do what I can. I, I work hard, as you know, Jim. And But it's all about the timepieces. And, uh, you know, it's the product. And uh, right now, you know, I'll tell you what, I'm just so thrilled with what we're putting out and uh, the design and, and everything. I just wish we could get them out quicker. Well, know? I'm just putting it out there. Yeah. I would wear a watch with your face on the dial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> v nine one four double zero. Ah. Oh. <laughs> three three value pays of thirty nine dollars and forty two cents. So essentially, a little more than a dollar a day. Mm -hmm. Puts a watch of this caliber on your wrist. Let's go through it again. 45 millimeter case. Mm -hmm. Three interchangeable bezels for three wildly different looks. A Swiss made ISA chronograph day and date movement, the 8172 caliber movement. There are all the complications there for you. There's the calendar, there's the day wheel at the six, the minute totalizer at the 10 subdial, and the two o'clock subdial is your constant running seconds, not a part of the chronograph plate that is always running now here's the beauty of this particular version because there are apocalypse versions in now five sizes in this 45 millimeter version you get to do this and i want you to play along with me at home you push down now again this is the blue bezel i'm changing up a little bit here you push down quarter turn you release it take that off of there we're going to put the carbon fiber on there, which if that was my second favorite, I think, on this. Looks really hot on the carbon fiber, which you do get. But watch this. Oops. And, you know, Jim, you're do Jim's doing this while it's on his wrist. I have to tell you, I tried it while it was on my wrist, and I had trouble. I had to take it off. I'm, I'm much better at it when it's off. That's a clean look clean sanitary look and then i can go back and go you know what no i want to I, I really want it to be out there and i want to do the blue because the blue is the hotness yeah i, I think the blue is hot that's my and favorite then, actually the only trick is when it's on your wrist you have to try and line it up there we yeah. go oh, oh i missed the notches there we go yeah there you go the there notches are at three and nine yeah there you go right and that's all there is to it it's just that simple mm -hmm. folks do it for yourself do it for someone else. It's a giftable price point at $39 a month. You can give this to your brother, your uncle, your son, your father, your best friend, your boss. You want to you ensure that you might get that raise or that consideration? Slide this under his office door you with know, a little Jim, note. I love you. I'll tell you. Well, maybe don't do that because you might scare him, actually, and he might fire you, especially you know, if you work in HR. If you've never owned one of our apocalypse before, and we've done 10 or 11 different models now, 
I mean, what can I say? I mean, you, you just can't get this kind of big bang for this kind of value uh, anywhere really? else. Really, Larry? Yeah, really? 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you get so much bang for your buck right here. I mean, this it's is, a, without a doubt, the biggest could be a value. bigger bang, actually. Anyway, uh, you've, oh, 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 blue, <laughs> rubber straps, green, rubber straps, or maybe you prefer the red rubber straps, V91385. For 27 bucks, you can add even more dimension to your apocalypse. And these are all custom straps. You know, you're seeing the outside of the strap right there, Jim. But they all, it comes in custom packaging, custom too, which packaging. is not shown there. Well, I think they have a box over here on the... Do we the, have it? Can, yeah, I, can I see it real fast? Do, yeah. Because really, I just think it's cool. It's very classy. You know, it's, it's really, really nice. Check this out, Jim. And, and if you, you also... It's like you're getting... You know like how like some limited edition CDs come? Very classy. Yeah. And, and also, Jim, you know, I just want to point out, these are custom straps, guys. I mean, we if you look on the inside of the strap, you'll literally see the Sterling Original logo. It's in the... I mean, we had molds made for these things. Now, are they done in different colors like if you buy the green? Yeah, right. The green really? Had... It matches? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, they printed up different sure. packaging for each different color. So I just thought it was a... No, that's that's the real... That's the dealio. <laughs> but, all right, we're done here, they're telling me. But anyway, guys, they're custom straps, and uh, if, if, if you're going to... If I cut myself one more time this you're week, gonna I'm going to get the uh, trifecta, if you're going to get the apocalypse tri tri trifecta, then you should get the straps, guys. You will love it. V91400, today's top value. And, oh... Larry, the Saturnalia dual time the is The dual back. time, the 40 joule movement, Jim. That's a lot of joules. Yep. Wait, final day at intro price? Does that mean the price is going to go up? That's exactly what it means, actually. Both are in rows. You choose either the uh, white dial or the brown dial, as I understand it. Yeah, but those are the two rose gold executions. Now, Jim, I'm going to say this. The air huh? is very dry in here I'll tonight. tell you what, Jim, on the Legacy right here, we're not deep at all. This is like less than a hundred pieces in both executions, Jim. And we've had a lot of requests for this, okay? These are the two rose golds. $149.50. That is the quartz, by the way. It is a quartz. Don't now, miss that. Now, I realize I still have today's top value in front of me, but that's not where we're going. We're going to show you a beautiful selection of pocket watches. And you know what? This is a brand new version. Larry, when you guys bring out pocket watches, the crowd goes wild. Everybody, here's the deal. I know a lot of people do not carry pocket watches. A lot of people use it for display purposes in their watch displays or they have it in their office on a little pedestal or whatnot. I don't care what reason you're buying it for. I want you to realize. Yeah, it's, it's mechanical, Jim. This is not a quartz. No. This is a manual wind automatic now, this is your, I'm going to call it your rendition of. It is not a unit to 6497, no. um, or actually 6498 is what it would have been. This is your version of what that movement is. It's a very right. close replication of that. Right, and you can, one of the giveaways there is the size of the balance wheel. Mm -hmm. It's that larger size balance wheel, as you can see right there. But you see the beautiful Cote de Genève. And the huge uh, gooseneck. And... Yeah, the Cote de Genève decoration on the back plate. Oh, no, can I hold the gold? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to take that but, off. But, uh, you know, it's got the nice uh, fob on there as well, so you've got that chain. But, you know, it, we, we started a series around maybe September, October, our Montre mm -hmm. de Poche series with five uh, different... Uh, pocket watches in the series, five different models, and I think this is number five now. We've been bringing them out slowly, and I think this is the fifth in the series here. This is the Versailles. The this dial is absolutely mind-blowing. The amount of intricate detail. This would be, if you looked at a $100,000 pocket watch with actual true hand guilloche, this is the type of look you'd be looking at. Now, this is not hand guilloche, but this is multiple, multiple pressings mm -hmm. in order to... Actually, this is probably one of your, your more highly stamped dials. Yeah, you've you, had some that are like 40 strikings yeah, and more. Yeah, absolutely, Jim. And you can see the impressions there. It's kind of a, a swirled sunray. Oh, what you, what you uh, will kind of sometimes call, I was just going to say yeah. what you like to call a tribal sunray pattern. There. And then the, the level of decoration, the Cote de Genève, the Geneva stripe pattern in the movement. It is a true mechanical. It must be hand wound. So this is really going back to the glory days of watchmaking. If you want to commemorate the beauty 
and the simplicity of a mechanical watch with the unbelievable detail that only Sterling can provide in their dial work. This is a masterpiece to own. Three value pays of $36. It's elegant, it's classic, it's timeless. And from time to time, by the way, we do carry, uh, Sterling makes a stand to, mm -hmm. to, to hold their pocket watches to use as a desk clock. We don't have any right now, but in the future they will return. So keep that in mind. If you're thinking, well, how am I gonna, I want it, and I don't wanna miss it, but I don't know how to display it, just buy it. And then what's gonna happen is, in a month or two months or three months, when when Larry brings mm -hmm. it back, you will be able to buy the stand. And I'm telling you, if you like have your own office, like you're like a bank president or whatever, and you've got this hanging on your desk as a desk clock, I'm telling you, it's going to add something else to that whole room. You know, to me, I, I agree. I, I mean, I think they're they're totally great. I love them. Uh, to me, pocket watches also make great gift items too, because a lot of times uh, guys don't necessarily who collect wristwatches don't want to spend the money on the pocket watch. But you know, oh, if man. it's given to you as a gift, uh, you you know, then you just love it. You know, I mean, and it's a great gift item because people don't buy them for themselves. You know. Look at that. It almost looks like a sterling silver dial. It's not. I don't want to mislead you in any way, but it, it definitely has that type of look. That platinum color. Yeah. Very impressive, Larry. Mm -hmm. I, I have to, to to really hand it to you. You guys have a way of, of doing cutting edge stuff, you know, like an El Capo and all black, yeah. and then going back to your roots, back to that classic elegance, and you guys don't miss a beat when yeah. you're making that transition. Well, that's cool that you say that. We try not to forget, you know, the roots and, and the classic and the, the really dressy pieces as well. But you know what's and here, happening. Here's a great, there's that great here juxtaposition go. here. The, the Madman Mad C2. Mm -hmm. Nothing classic about that. I call this the happiest chronograph in the world. You see the happy <laughs> right, face? Right, I do see the happy face, absolutely. It's got the big smile down below and the big two eyes right there. But you'll notice here on these three executions, Jim, these are all three black PVD cases here. And look at the red rubber strap up there as well. All right, here we go now. Also, the Antigua Diver is back, and I'm just gonna put it out there. Do we have the black? Do we have the black? Ignore all else and, and buy the black. They all look great, but the black is so sleek and sexy that when you put that on, you will instantly become two points more attractive. <laughs> instantly. I, and that's my guarantee to you. All right. All right. Hey. That's got a 5040D, by the way. Check this out, Jim. Hey. Here's your Gen X Sport. Now, there's a lot to love here. And there's a lot that breaks from Sterling tradition. First off, uh, V91419 is your item number. You choose orange or yellow, very simple choice. And what I mean by break from tradition, okay, yes, it's got a very intricate dial, as is signature of Sterling. Yes, it has a complex movement, as is signature of Sterling. But a few things that break away. Number one, it's a very, very sporty watch, which is relatively new for Sterling over the past couple of years. Very bright standout colors, also fairly new for Sterling. But look at this. First off, it's a Citizen Miota movement, not often used by Sterling, and uh, increasingly more over the past year. This strap, not only is it not rubber, but this leather strap is an Italian oil rubbed strap for one. Number two, you look at the way the padding has been mm -hmm. done. It's beautiful. It's also a sandwich. Right style strap, meaning, well, actually, it's not a sandwich because then it would be yellow in the middle and black on the back, but you do have a two-tone strap, an open face sandwich, my producer says. It's a two-tone strap with the black and yellow or black and orange. Larry, there is so much to love in this well, watch. Well, you know, as long as you're talking about the strap, you know, this has the, the inserts, the platforms that are inserted uh, at the end. That's that's a tremendous expense, Jim, you know, just to make the the, the, the molds for the inserts oh. cost a fortune, but anyway, the point of if it is, it's an integrated strap. It's not just with pins and there's a gap between the case. Look at the case integration of the strap to the case. But, you know, that's just a, I wouldn't say a minor point. I think it's a significant point, but really, Look at the depth this of that is, dial. exactly, this is all about our dial work on this piece, guys. Look at this. You see right there, the outer dial ring or the flange, you see the, the 9, the 10, 11, 12, how tall they stand up above the dial as they kiss the underside of the Cristerna crystal. 
And then you look at all these dial elements that are then applied. These are hand applied rings, mm -hmm. elements that are added. Same for this, uh, this retrograde scale that you see that highlights. It's not just a hand, but it's a highlight of the day of the week. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you while and, we have this shot. And, and one of the things that guys, uh, connoisseurs may recognize, and maybe some people don't, is you see the height that that bridge is sticking up, and then you got your, your minute and hour hands have to pass over that, and the second hand has to pass over all of that. It takes an extremely tall cannon pinion to do that. Uh, the depth that it takes to do that is not easy. You don't see that very often, guys. I mean, it's really uh, watchmaking. You know what we need to do right now, Larry? We need to go to the phones. Okay. We're going to speak to Thomas in Missouri. How are you tonight, Thomas? Hey, Jim. How are you doing? Doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you, Larry? Good, Thomas. How are you? Fine, thanks. Just call me Tom. All right. Hey, hey, hey listen, uh, Jim, I didn't know you were out ill. Glad to see you back, though. Uh, Thank I you. I didn't miss you. I just cool. didn't know where you went. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we're mysterious like that. But, yeah, I'm back, and I'm ready to rock it. Hey, listen, uh, I bought today's uh, value. Sure. And mm -hmm. I bought it in the blue, Jim, so okay. I guess I disagree with you a little bit. No, but you know what? It's a great daily wear color. Are you a blue jeans guy? I, well, yeah. I, oh, there you go. I can get blue jeans on. There mm -hmm. you go, man. It's a great look that you'll be able to wear every day for every occasion. I also had got the uh, extra rubber straps yep. that you had, uh, Larry. Absolutely. Uh, I was wondering if you guys could show us how to uh, interchange those straps. You know what? That is an excellent point, and I apologize for not doing it. And the only reason we didn't is because it takes so much time up because they're not quick-release pins. But there is a tool that's going to come. If I can get a close-up, I can at least show you that. Uh, I'm going to ask my producer something. Uh, Tom, my producer. Tom, are we going to be showing the Today's Top Value one more time before we end? Okay, we won't be. I don't have one in front of me, but very quickly, what you're going to get is you're going to get this little black tool. It's got what looks like a fork on the end of it. What you're going to do is you're going to flip the watch over, and from the back side, I'm just going to demonstrate on this watch right here because uh, I'm not, not going to take it off. Yeah, because this one would be a little difficult here with the integrated You're going to take platform. that little fork, and it's going to go right in between the strap and the lug, and that's going to pull on the end of the spring bar, just like what I'm doing here. You're going to pull it, and you're going to pull the strap right out. It's as simple as that. Actually, you can see the spring bar in there. Okay, I got you. Now, yeah. if for any reason you have any issues whatsoever, you can visit any local jeweler or watchmaker and go, hey, do me a favor, can you show me? And they'll show you, and you'll instantly pick it up. It may be one of those things you kind of have to see it. Uh, but you know what? Once you've done it once, it's like butter. You know, I'll tell you what. I'm glad you brought that up, Tom. Uh, because, you know, I was doing it in the office to practice because I thought we were going to have to demonstrate on the air and I wanted to be able to do it, you know, rather quickly. And when I came in tonight, they said, no, we're not going to have time to show it on the air. So I was a little disappointed. But I will say this. I actually had fun doing it. Um, you know, downstairs we have a watchmaker, as you know, Jim. And mm -hmm. when I need links taken out for photography and stuff like that, I always take it to him. But, you know, it was kind of fun doing it you myself. You just give him a nice big new area, didn't you, uh, yeah, thankfully? Because yeah. he was stuffed off in the corner there. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was going to off himself one day. Yeah, it was really depressing yeah, He's got a big there. new big new area now. But right. what I'm saying is, you know, it was actually kind of fun. You know, you bond with your watch, uh, you know, take, you know, changing the straps. And it's I enjoyed it. Well, Larry, throw your weight around a little bit there. There you go. <laughs> All right, Thomas, i got to let you go. I'm being hey, told we got to move. You, uh, hey, thanks, fellas. appreciate it. All right. It. You th got thank it you very much, Tom. What a great interactive call that was. That was fun, wasn't it? I love taking the calls, Jim. You All right, that. we're going to move on. V91419, about seven remaining if you would like to buy the orange, by the way. And if you want to be like Thomas, well, you can certainly do so. He bought the blue. Maybe you want the blue or the green or the red. I don't know. But you've got some great options because it's interchangeable. That's right. And there's some rubber for you. $27, three value pays of $9. You get three rubber straps. One of them will have a really cool leather portion that's uh, sewn right in. Right. Yep. Red will give you the black IP buckles. Be aware of that because it's made to match the red bezel watch. It's a black IP watch. Mm -hmm. Now, Saturnalia DT. DT stands for dual time. V91240. This watch is just flat out 
cool. It's I had amazing. a chance to play with this uh, intimately in my little photo studio, and I did get a chance to do some photography, and I loved playing with this watch because there's a lot of depth. First off, you look at the double step, double coin edge bezel. Very, very intricate. And now you look here and you see the the crazy levels in the dial manufacturing. Mm -hmm. And here we go for a tighter shot of that double coin edge bezel and that onion style crown. Larry, this is absolute elegance. Well, we followed up our Saturnalia. This is the dual time, as you pointed out, Jim, is the 40 joule movement. Here's a nice shot of the back here uh, that you did, Jim. But it's a 40 joule mechanical automatic. And typically when you have a lot of joules, the more joules means typically more co uh, complications. And you look at the dial on this and you say, oh my goodness, what, what are all those hands? What are all those dials? Well, you have, if you take a look at this, not only uh, do you have, you know, two time zones, but you also have a power reserve indicator up at 12 o'clock, a 40 hour power reserve indicator with two time zones and you also have a calendar. You've got the, the date. Uh, this is amazing. Stop and think about that. Uh, two time zones, a date, and a power reserve indicator all operating off of a single main spring. This is not a quartz. This would be a bargain at 214 if it were a quartz movement with a computer chip. It's not, guys. This is a genuine mechanical automatic. You've got recessed pushers on the side of the case uh, to make, you, you know, make it easy for setting all these different functions, the calendars and so forth. But uh, here it is. And, you know, this followed up on our Saturnalia, which was one of our, you know, most uh, acclaimed pieces. We have a beautiful it dress case. A it's a 45 millimeter case, so it's That's a right. good size for a dress piece, guys. Nice uh, big case, really, for a dress piece at 45. And you can see one of those recessed pushers right there, yeah. down there at about the 8 o'clock position. But look at the elegance of the oh. dial. I mean, there you've got a lot going on, yet it still maintains uh, ease of, of legibility. There is one time zone, here is another, and it's very, it's very simple to set. It goes against a lot of main principles, I'll tell you, to watchmaking, because you do turn the crown counterclockwise mm -hmm. to set one. You'll notice how now that hour hand has stopped, Right. and I'm setting the other one. I could, let's say I set that to 10 o'clock, and then I go forward. Now they're synced. Yeah. Now they're synced up. So, folks, what I'm telling you is you've got a very, very special timepiece here. Do what you got to do to pick one of these up. D the, the herringbone style texturing in the dial is breathtaking. If you would like the white, it is the most limited. Both will feature fully decorated movements, which by the way is a ball bearing rotor movement, which is yeah. higher profile, much more expensive. Oh, V91240. And here again is the, the photography I, I had the opportunity to do on this watch. You can't find a bad angle on this watch. I mean, you could be like the f worst photographer in the world, and this watch is still going to look good. It's just a joy to be around. It's a joy to put on your wrist. And again, it's another watch that makes you want to dress up just to have an excuse to wear it. Right. And all those dials and arcs that you see on the main dial, as Jim pointed out, those are separate pieces applied to the dial. It goes to our dial work, what we're known for. And Jim, uh, your photography, we, lo we love uh, seeing your photography. Thank you, I appreciate it. And folks, it is your chance right now to pick this up, V91240. Do what you gotta do to make that watch yours. Every time we bring any Saturnalia out, they sell out very, very quickly. You know, let's go back to the phones. We've got Robert from California calling in. How are you tonight, Robert? How you doing? Doing great. Thanks for calling in. Say hi to Larry. Hi, Larry. How are hey, you doing Robert. tonight, Larry? Great. And you? Oh, I get, I, I'm, you know what? I'm as happy as a lark tonight because uh, last year my wife surprised me with my, uh, my first watch from Sterling in the month of, I think it was like November. It was a brown, uh, a brown strap watch that with gold tone and was, absolutely fantastic and then at christmas time she surprised me with another one which was uh, a black rubber strap with uh, a square casing on it and then around uh, the uh, a round face on top of the square uh, it's an automatic and everybody i mean i cannot walk into
to a store mm -hmm. without having a clerk ask me, <laughs> where did you get that? Well, that's great where to hear. You, where did you get it? And I, you know, I, I, I tell them, I'm, I'm, my wife bought it for me on Shop NBC. Yeah. You know, where's that? So I tell them, well, turn your TV on and, <laughs> you know, turn it on to Shop NBC. I says, that's right. you got the greatest watches there. You get the greatest deals there. In fact, the other day we were uh, walking through the mall, and uh, we walked by several jewelry stores who had watches on display, and one of the salesmen said, hey, gee, where did you get that watch? Uh, once again, Shop NBC. Well, you must have paid a, an arm and a leg for that. I says, well, no, you must be talking about your watch, because your watch is an arm and a leg. This one retails oh, for an arm and a leg, but we get it for a great price. Yeah, it's. I cannot thank you enough. Yeah. For the uh, for the uh, goods that you come out with, the the warranty that you put on your merchandise, mm -hmm. and the price that you give to us. Thank you so much, uh, Robert. Very it, well said. It, it's it's just it's just fantastic. In fact, it's so great that. Uh, I think I have now about nine watches in the last uh, two months. Wow. Three months, and uh, we've even set my wife up with a couple of watches for herself, too. Well, that's Fantastic. great. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Robert. Robert. Thank you so much for your enthusiasm, for your love of the watches and the programs, and thanks hey. for spreading the word as well. You're very welcome. Thank you, oh, Robert. Oh, and we both, I'm sorry, the wife told me, surprise, I bought you the red one tonight, your special deal. All right, glad to hear it. Good so job. we got to share that surprise with you live on the air. That was fun. <laughs> you guys take it easy. I know you're short on time, Thank so you. I won't keep you any longer. Very cool. Robert, yeah. enjoy your new red one. You're going to love it. Trust me. I will do that. <laughs> All take right, care. take care. Good health to everybody, and God bless. God you bless. too. Thank you so Bye -bye. much. How fun was that? We got to learn. He learned right there on the air with us. Hey, honey, I got you the red. That's, <laughs> That's cool. Great. That's fun. Yeah. All right. Uh, V91240. We got to move on. I have some other business to attend to here. So uh, uh, Larry's going to take a sip of water while we talk about something eh, kind of outside of watches. Gem Treasures coming up at, uh, I think it's 10 p.m. Eastern later on today. 14 karat white gold with 30 points of blue and white diamonds fashioned in this beautiful tulip setting. I got to tell you, to Good. see blue diamonds for $244, you need to be here and witness this for yourself. Uh, uh, the man himself is going to be here. Have fun. 10 p.m. Eastern tonight. Gem Treasures. I, I don't know how he does it, but, uh, well, he does. That's a beautiful piece, Jim. It is. I love it. Makes me almost want to wear a tulip. All right, V91489, uh, all tulips aside, mm, this is the Legacy Classic. Now, now, one of the things I want to put out there right now, just a different finish, the owner of Sterling himself, mm -hmm. the, the last time that we all went out was wearing this watch. He wears the silver tone, and he wears the black mother of pearl. Right. This is the one I've seen him wear probably more than any other watch. That, and you would think, okay, he could wear the Torbion or anything. And he can. He can reach in the vault and wear whatever he darn well pleases. Yeah. But this is the one that he chooses to wear more, more often than not when I see him. Yeah, I mean, and it's a gorgeous piece. I mean, it's impressive. It looks like, uh, you know, plays like thousands of dollars on the wrist. Now, this black, of course, this black mother of pearl, it looks like an abalone shell or something like that. It's incredible. This but, makes me want to strip down and dive right in, like <laughs> like just jumping into the ocean. Indeed. Uh, Christine, by the way, was coming up in about a half hour of Greece. You know, uh, now, I want to say this. First of all, we've had a lot of requests to bring this back, to bring it back. But I'm going to tell you guys something. This is really uh, like, you know, the end of the barrel what we have right here. We're, we had literally less than 100 pieces. So I don't imagine we'll be spending too much time on this. No. But What's these, the diameter on these, this? 46. These are the two uh, rose gold executions uh, from the original five. We're not real deep on this, guys. And... You see what the uh, value that is being offered here tonight. I mean, this is sensational. A beautiful link bracelet on this piece. And uh, it's also a, a second time zone. You can use that as a 24-hour indicator if you want to sync it. 
but you have the ability with this citizen Miota movement to actually offset that 24-hour indicator and use it as a second time zone, as a GMT hand if you want, Jim. As I am doing right now. Right. One click of the crown and turn it, you're done. Calendar at the three, and then there is that rich, luxurious, high in Orient mother of pearl. This is grade A, grade double A mother of pearl. Absolutely purely smooth top right. surface. No veins, no cracks, no imperfections. A rich play of color in the Orient. And uh, I'm gonna flip this around. There is the legacy case back. And now as elegant and classic as the white mother of pearl is, I still have to cast my vote for the black and mother of pearl. And I'm gonna take the white. And I gotta tell you, man, this thing, <laughs> look at this one more time while Larry puts on the white. I love it. You can see this. Look at this from across the room. We're going to go to a medium yeah. shot first. Uh, thank you so much, Garrett. That's perfect. You can see the color. This would simulate probably about, I don't know, 12 feet away or so. And this yeah. is literally if you're sitting on my lap. Uh, if you're sitting on my lap, you're probably a little preoccupied. You're not paying attention to the dial. I might be scaring you at this point. But beyond that, you will see the rich, rich color coming through. Even in the white. Now, white is not generally known for a lot of color. It's usually about the depth. There's a lot of orient. You can see a lot of blues and greens and even a little red flash as well. Wait, we're calling it what? Are we calling black mother pearl gray? I apologize if the operator's telling you, no, fool, there ain't no black. Uh, we're calling it gray. I, I don't know why. It's black mother of pearl order under gray. Don't miss that one, guys. Okay. By the way, our customer service will never call you fool. I apologize. At least I hope not. It depends on your behavior, I'm sure. Now, <laughs> coming up, uh, if we get lucky at the end of the hour, V90146. Wow, look at this clearance. The Monterey Sport. Whoa. If you want the silver tone, silver tone, it's, silver, it's uh, less than a dozen. Folks, it's $68. What's the size on that? That's a 44 and a half millimeters we're talking yeah. here. 44 and millimeters. A half. That's how we roll here <laughs> in the MN. It's about the MNs. It's all yeah. about the MNs. I think that was an album for like 1986. It dropped it and it was hot. All right, V91389. The Madman C2. The happiest chronograph on the planet. Yours to be had for a happy price of $173. Now, if you want the green black, it is the most limited. It was the one that just, it jumped out at everybody. You know what? I'm going to take a back seat on this, and I'm just going to wear it. I'm going to put it on and let Larry do all the talking, because, Larry, I know you love the Mad Men. Well, I do. I, I absolutely love this piece. And, you know, you see we're doing a lot more in it. We have uh, we just came out with the uh, with the Anna Digi World Timer. But this is the C2. And this movement, Jim, is the actually is the same exact movement as we have in our Apocalypse Trifecta. This is the 8172. Just a different layout. Uh, no, actually, well, no, it's no, not. no, 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 it's not. I take that back. This is the 8171, I believe. Yeah, because yeah, you have right. a simple calendar. This doesn't the six. have the day date. I take that back. But it you're is, good. You're cool. But it is an ESA 8171, and uh, it's, you know, got the chronograph, as you can see. But this case, that's what's so special about this, this large curvature of this massive case. It's actually 53 millimeters from 12 to 6. So I would say if you're below a seven and a half, it might be too large for the wrist. Yeah, because of the way the strap fits, it's yeah. not made to curve around a smaller wrist. So if you're under a seven and a half inch wrist, I would say don't even pick up the phone. Yeah, because it's gonna it's gonna be too big. Maybe maybe seven and a half, but if you're below that, I don't know. But anyway, see, I've gone up and down over the past six years. I used to be a seven and a half inch wrist when I first came here. <laughs> then I went up to an eight inch wrist for for the longest time. Now I'm I'm back down to seven and three quarter inch. If I if I went any smaller, if I lost another fifteen pounds, I probably wouldn't be able to wear the Madman that I own just because there would be gaps. But as it sits right now, uh, it, it's totally fine. And of course, the the uh, rubber strap, the way it's integrated to the case, it's absolutely seamless. You've got the steel inserts in the rubber strap as well. And, of course, the dial work on this piece. You can see all the dial work. You see the, the uh, texturization on the base dial plate. And then you've got all the, the border templates for the date aperture as well. Uh, all the dial work that we're known for, the applied indices. You've got those bolts in the corner as well, those hexagonal uh, kind of uh, hexagonal head bolts that uh, in the corner of the mm -hmm. dial there, Jim. Mm -hmm. You know it.
You know what we're going to do pressure. right now? We're going to go back to the phones because I swear it's been at least three minutes since we've been on the phone. Let's and do we're going to talk to Larry in Oklahoma. Hello, Larry. Hi, Larry. That was your cue to talk. Hello. Oh, there he is. How are you, Larry? Hey, I'm great. Hi, you guys. I hey. tell you what, I, I got this uh, Sterling, the Caddo 2, and there was only like 78 of 100 of them made, and I was so excited when I got it. Which one? And I went to I went to the jewelry store, and it seemed like every place I go, people are asking me, man, where did you get that watch? And I have about uh, probably about 12, 12 to 15 Sterlings. Which one yeah, were you I'm talking about, about, Larry? Watch, watches, and, and I'm just, I am so excited when I get a watch from you guys. I, I can't wait till the UPS guys come. Cool. And Did, the guys that I work with, I work at the post office, and the guys that I work with, they're always asking me, okay, what did you get now? What did you get now? <laughs> so so that, that's terrific. Like I'm always the go-to guy whenever, whenever there's a watch. There's, there's yes. a watch. And I've got some of my supervisors and stuff, I've even got them turned on and to buying watches and stuff. So it's a big deal in my job whenever they see me come in. Okay, sure. what did you get next? Yeah, you're the watch guy at work. That's that's like the coolest position. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So I, I am, I am, I've got you guys on 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 my uh, computer, I and mean, I got you guys on the the uh, uh, where I can tape you guys shows and stuff all the time. I am, I'm always looking at watches, and I, I've learned so much over the over over the years. I guess with you know, what I like and what I don't like mm -hmm. and everything. And it's now that, you know, I can really pick and choose and make a lot better choices about the kind of watches and stuff sure. that, I, oh, yeah. that I wear and I buy. And whenever somebody sees me, they always say, okay, what do you got next? What do you, what do you bring, what are you wearing today? Well, see, you bring and up I, an important point. I get point. so excited when you guys are there. And Jim, I'm glad to see you back, by the way. Well, thank you, Larry. I appreciate it. It's, it's good to be seen, let me tell you. You actually brought up a great point that I'd like to go back to. It's about educating yourself and then recognizing what your needs are. Don't ever, don't let me, don't let anybody else ever sell you anything. We'll try to oh, educate absolutely. you. We'll try to help you along the way, but it's ultimately up to you. And as long as you've learned what you like, we're just out here to show it to you, tell you if it has that thing or not, and then you make that decision. Well, I think one of the one of the great things for me is that I have learned so much over the years that whenever I go to the mall and the jewelry stores and stuff and everything, I have learned so much ab about watches because I've got books and mm -hmm. everything about watches and stuff, and I've learned so much. And you when know when they're in, pushing a, a load on you, right? Certain things about a watch or whatever, and they look at me like you know deer in headlight eyes, and it's like they don't really know what's going on. And the thing that you guys do is that. You guys not only just sell a watch, but you tell us so much. You give off uh, so much information. Yep. That's oh, what that's... makes it exciting about buying a watch from Shop NBC, and I just absolutely love it. In between goat and donkey jokes, we try to slip in some factual information. There you go. There you go, buddy. All right, we're going to let All you right. go for much right love now. To you. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. <laughs> Thanks so much. All right, Good night. We appreciate you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Take care. All right, uh, and, and nothing quite like the, the, the Jim and Larry dog and pony show. We always try to have fun out here. But you know what? Larry's right. It's about the education. It's about learning what you want and identifying what your needs are. And hopefully, it'll all meet together in the middle. By the way, speaking of meeting together in the middle, this gorgeous young lady between us, uh, Christine, is coming up. You're coming up next hour with some really cool stuff. You know what? Since you've been back, you are on fire. Well, thank you. You are on fire. So I have plenty of time to rest. Back. Thank you. Well, you know what? Next hour is dedicated to getting your timepieces that you purchase here at Shop NBC, organized, go. protecting them. And this is coming up 21 watch storage and display case. We've sold over 13,000 oh, of this man. unit. And I'm telling you, it's a customer choice. It's beautiful on the outside. It's beautiful on the inside. Also, we have... Just like Larry. Oh, yes. <laughs> and speaking of Larry, he'll be joined... Why are you laughing so hard? <laughs> Larry is a very attractive, pretty man. Yep. <laughs> yes. And your haircut. Yeah. I like your haircut, too, Larry. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have today's top value also at the uh, top of next hour with this timepiece that I'm wearing. It, mm -hmm. that's Christine, be you need to come in here more often because this <laughs> this has been fun. All, All right. right, so make sure you join her. See, she is just, uh, she's so bubbly. Tune in in about uh, 13 minutes and you will learn how to uh, store your sterlings properly. <laughs> yeah, that's great.
This next item, V90184, is a watch that Larry has a, a, a fair amount of love for, don't you, Larry? What, the Antigua? Yeah, absolutely. I love the Antigua. 44 millimeter case, 50-40 D movement in this piece, guys. Hey, we're going to show it now, aren't we? Okay. Oh, yeah, let's, we are. Let's get into it. Nice bracelet on the piece as well. And, you know, it's from our Regatta series, Jim. And, you know, I, I love the Regatta. It's kind of an elegant diver piece. It's not the uh, that more, uh, you know, industrial type of diver. Mm. It's more of a, a of a dressy diver yeah, this style. This is an elegant diver. Absolutely. This this is, you know, you're, you're, you're not setting foot on a little schooner. No, no, no. You're, 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 uh, you're being served on a yacht mm -hmm. is, what, is what you're doing. You're laying out on the, uh, what do they call the front of the boat there, the, the bow? You're okay. laying out there, you're tanning yourself. Uh, may or may not be naked at the time. Yeah. And people are serving you drinks with umbrellas in them. That's the kind of diver yeah. this is. The bezel's just a little bit narrower than your, your typical diver bezel, which gives it just a little bit of elegance on this piece. All three executions. Now, Jim has already you know, thrown down the gauntlet here, saying you have to it's get the black. the black. I mean, it's yes. It's the black. Anytime you put black and rose together, of course, it's a hot, hot choice. It's always striking, no question. I do have a number two favorite. Are you interested in knowing what that is? But look how unusual they both no, are, Jim. Not at all, apparently. No, I am. <laughs> but just look how unusual these executions are, Jim. They're not normal. Not normal, Jim. This is it right here. I, it, what are we calling this? We're calling it brown? <laughs> You have a bronze no, we're not. tone. You have a bronze be. tone bezel. This is like a bronze. This is yeah. right here, Tom. Right here. Yeah, but the difference is you have a bronze. Two tone. We have gold tone, two tone, or black. This is the two tone. Okay. Now, what people probably didn't realize is that is a mother of pearl dial. Yes, mother of pearl dial. But but again, look at the execution colors here. Uh, it's uh, how about the bronze tone with yellow gold? You just I think don't it's attractive that. as well. No, you absolutely. You don't see this. It's very unusual, very distinctive uh, conversation piece. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But also 100 meters water resistance, Cristerna crystal, solid stainless steel case, and you have a world class chronograph movement here with the 5040D, Jim. Indeed, I, I have to agree with you on all points. It's also great to have the wonderful value pays in there. Four value pays of 37, well, 37.37 as a matter of fact. Just a touch more than a dollar a day if you break it down. V90184. By the way, if you're confused going, you know, whenever I order watches, it's a J number. What's up with the V? The V means it will be directly shipped from the vendor, which in this case is Sterling, to you. Meaning it doesn't have to come to us, then go through our processing and then go to you. So it gets to you much, much more quickly. Depending on where you live, you could be wearing these watches to work like, you know, Wednesday or something. Again, right. depending on where you live. So there you go. Rock it. All right. I know you've been waiting, and here it is, my host pick. It's the World Traveler V91337. Now, the, again, again, I go to the black. I'm drawn to the black. It's like a black hole sucking me in. But many of you know that I am a big fan of the Traveler series. Larry and I both are, and we love to talk about it because it's a very unique way of displaying world time. It is not a simple hand pointing to an outer track uh, of all the different time zones. Larry, as I demonstrate mm -hmm. this, please do tell us, what am I doing? What's going on here? Well, as Jim is rotating that inner dial, you notice it has, it's numbered 1 to 24 because that's going to be your, your, your indicator here for your time all around the world. So as the minute hand and hour hand are going forward, you'll notice that that 24-hour wheel follows, which means this. Once you set the watch out of the box the first time, that's it. You're done. You don't have to rotate a bezel or rotate a flange to see what time it is all around the world. Once it's one step, one glance, every time zone. Exactly. So when you set it the first time, you know, and you get your, you set your local time and make sure you get your 24-hour indicator, you know, right on the, the city that, you know, your time zone you're in, you can immediately see at a single glance what time it is in Paris or New York or L.A. or, you know, whatever time zone you want to look for. And that's what makes this one so different. Now, many of you know our Traveler. It's a signature piece for Sterling. The original was a 40. Then we came out with the Time Traveler, which will look just like the Traveler, but that was a 44. This is the brand new World Traveler, which we came out with a new refreshed face design, dial design, Jim. Okay. Well, but you had so, you we had some went, serious issues with the time traveler, though, and we, we should really probably publicize this. <laughs> really? If you were traveling uh, above 88 miles an hour, you'd freaking disappear in flames. <laughs> 
And after <laughs> several joking, concerned but, you know, family listen, members call I, in. I, I love that movie myself, that whole series of movies. But here on the World Traveler, <laughs> I okay. got him so worried. He's like, you're going to mention a defect on no, the there, air? I know, they, I knew <laughs> you, were, you were going somewhere because they, we had no problem with that. We love that piece. That piece is fantastic. And this one is too. This one we went two millimeters larger. So this one's 46, Jim. We went up to 46, and it's got the new case design. And take a look at the back. That's right. You know what? I'm going to take it off this little, uh, this cute little stand here. It has here. a little bit more modernized look to it. Listen a little to this. i got to go to the here. Not um, so ornate as the originals, but uh, uh, this one is... Uh, the whole know, world came tumbling down on this <laughs> side of the screen, I assure this you. This is a, a, a nice uh, addition to the line of the uh, Traveler. We've got the biplane on the back, Jim. Uh, buy, buy planes on this one. If you buy the black one, it's the cell plane. All right, we're going to go to Stephanie in Florida. How are you tonight, Stephanie? How are you? Hey, I know that voice. Yes, you do. Boy, Welcome it's back. really late. I'm glad you stayed up with us, though. My goodness, I know. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I know. It's, it's tough to do that, but it shows the loyalty that you've got. Say hey to Larry. Hello, Larry. I never said hello to him. But well, I hi, Stephanie. How are you? How are you? Wonderful. So you got to compete because Stephanie, she loves Lior and she loves Juan. Right. Well, hey, listen, but I think she's got a room in her heart for you. Hey, listen, I think Lior and Juan are wonderful people. I like them myself. So. so Stephanie, what brings you to the show tonight, my dear? Oh, my goodness. I bought six watches. Really? Wow. Oh, but my goodness. I have goodness. so much of his other watches, too. You know, that is really, really Thank fantastic. Thank and you, again, Stephanie. I've mentioned this before, but Stephanie is a very particular collector. She knows what she wants, and she's not going to take any guff from anyone. Okay. And she's going to buy what she likes. And for such a discriminating collector such as yourself, Stephanie, i got to ask, what, what is it about Sterling that makes you come back for more? The style itself. There you go. It's all about the style. Style, the price is right. Well, thank you very much. I think you hit it right on the head. The designs, the styling, uh, oh, so the much goes into every beautiful. piece. I have all your Ozzy. I have the whole collection of Ozzy's, different colors and different everything. Yeah, those are fun pieces. I actually wore mine tonight. Oh, really? Yeah, it's but, hey, but Jim knows I buy the men's. Yep, she likes the bigger sizes. Comfortable, easier to wear, and easier to yes. read. That's correct. Indeed. Stephanie, I hate to do this to you, but I've got one minute left in the show, and I have to cut you loose. But thank you for staying up with us. I appreciate it. That's okay. And again, welcome back. Thank you so much. Thank you, Stephanie. And nice talking to you, Larry. Thank you very much. Much okay. love to you. Bye. Uh, Stephanie Bye. is one of, one of the viewers that I just, I just truly love, and I love hearing from her. And you know what? She buys a lot of watches. She's got some great taste. And again, she's a hardcore collector, and I'm glad to see that she's following into the, uh, the Sterling lineup as well. Folks, we're about to end this show. I want to thank you from me to you. You know, this is my first week back after being out from surgery for about three weeks, and it has been an amazing week with, uh, with Wing and with Daniel, now with Larry, my very, very good friend. You're going to be joining me tomorrow night, though, and I want to make sure everybody knows this. My watch time with Jim Hours tomorrow night. Larry is going to join me for a very special presentation of the Apocalypse Revelation 52 millimeter Torbion, their very first sport watch Torbion. It will go quickly. Do not miss it. 8 p.m. Eastern, coming up later tonight. Larry, it's been a great pleasure. Always a pleasure with you, Jim. Thank, Thank you, you, my friend. Thank you, everybody. Stay tuned because Christine Quanley is going to be coming up with a great way to store all those great sterlings you just bought. The jewelry and watch tower coming up next. Start ordering now, especially if you want that beautiful light color that always goes first.